Report on this computer. Getting some background noise, Kevin. There we go. Thank you, sir. Welcome. I am your host, Susan. <laughs> Imposter Susan. Imposter Susan. I like it. Uh, I love that gargoyle. I want that gargoyle. No, cancel. Yeah, that is a cool gargoyle. Rename. There we go. All right, I'm not going to. Okay. How's everybody doing tonight? Not too bad. Okay, that's good. So we're going to have five teams of one today? Pretty much. <laughs> it's going to be really tough on the team whose person is doing the category. Yes. Right? Ended up with one team. Who yeah. is doing the categories? Okay, we got Kevin, you're up first, if that's okay. Or do we need to move you around? Uh, Bill, Ramiro, Peggy, and Jamie. So until we're confident about every tip that comes in, even it could have been. So what are we watching, Kevin? We can't see it. But we can hear it. He's eating his dinner. He's not paying any attention to us whatsoever. No. No. He gets the mute. I was trying to see if I could recognize what it was, but it wasn't picking up on it. Yeah. You're watching TV, I don't know. Something. All right. So I'm anybody pretty sure new? that at least so far I'm the only Canadian here. Yeah. Nope. Ron's Canadian. Oh, Ron is. Ron. Hello. Ex Canadian. So. Well, are you in Canada now? No, I've been living in the U.S. for 40 years. So. So I'm probably the only one who looks out the window and sees that it's snowing. Yes. Now, you, where are you located again in Canada? Edmonton. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then. All right. <laughs> Kevin, your Although, your TV is really coming on loud over your microphone, just so you know. Oh, mute button worked. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm Northern Canada, so yeah, we went from like 22 Celsius to minus 15 Celsius in the span of, what, three days? That's not unusual for that area. My brother no. li lived there for six months. He played in the Edmonton Symphony many, many years ago. And I think I've spent a whole day in Edmonton. Not a whole day. <laughs> yeah, it was like one of the trips where he flew into Calgary and drove Calgary to Edmonton through Banff, Jasper, and off to Vancouver. So that was a little while ago. Like it's a 70, gorgeous drive. 70 hours, so I was wondering. I'm trying to get my wife to to do it again with me. I mean, I did it in 78, so. Time for a redo. Yeah, I think so. So I have to ask a question since you are Canadian. Mm -hmm. Maybe too young for this, but do you remember a TV show called Definition? Yes. The game show? Mm-hmm. Okay, I was just trying because I think it's been off the air for many, many years. Well, probably, but yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was on that back in '77. So were you? Yeah, five-time champion. Woohoo! Yeah, that was that was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> well, do you remember when SCTV first started? Yeah. And it was filmed in Edmonton. Oh, is that where it was filmed? It started filming at the ITV studios in Edmonton, like four blocks away from where I lived as a kid. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> and was that, that was, Rick Moranis was on that one back in the original days, mm -hmm. right? Because my, my claim to fame is I went to school with Rick. We did have that conversation, yep, didn't that's we? right. I was trying to remember if it, you were in that one. Yeah, so... Well, that's pretty awesome. I did not go to school with Rick and <laughs> And Getty Lee. That was the other one. So, yes, yeah. Getty Lee. That, those, are the, those are my big ones. They're, actually, we were all in the same class back in fifth grade, I think it was. Yeah, well, I'm the most famous person of everyone I went to school with. <laughs> <laughs> I just say that because this week is like my 15 minutes of fame, so I'm riding it high right now. 
And and what's the 15 minutes fame for being in uh, trivia with Susan? Yes, obviously. Uh, but I was on the Skeptic Zone podcast again this week. Oh, okay. And my article in the Skeptical Inquirer came out this week. So, yay. Hello, Kitten. Wave. That's Hello, cool. Kitten. Very nice. I really got to I really got to watch one of those things or, the, or listen to one of those podcasts. I haven't. I've never done it yet. I just never okay. have the time to listen to podcasts. I I only listen to a select few, like Seth Andrews. I have to listen to him. Um, but yeah, I my segment with Adrian is like really long. It's like a twenty minute segment. Richard oh, likes yeah. to keep it to like ten. And- you just let us go. So, <laughs> oh, we have another Canadian coming. Yes, Vin- Vince is Vincent's joining us. Vincent's yes. here. Yep, your neighbor to the south. Welcome, Hello. Vincent. I hope you haven't been waiting too long. I'm running the game, and I'm like, oh yeah, I got to keep an eye on when people join. <laughs> so I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long, sir. No. No. I'm okay. Fine. Good. All right. Are we going to do like U.S. versus Canada? Oh, we, we might should. be able to do that at this point. Yeah. Oh, nice. right now, of course, if Maybe. me and my brother join, I'm not sure which team we're supposed to be on. We'll split you guys. Yeah. I claim Ron. <laughs> Doesn't want to jump now. So what are you watching there, Kevin? Uh, he's not talking I keep I anymore. keep muting Kevin because his his TV stuff is distracting when we're trying to hold a conversation. So oh, I realize that, but he can hear us. Yeah, I know. All right, let's see. So I don't. We got Kevin. Other than that, Kevin's the only one who has joined that's actually running a category. So I hope more people will be joining later. That's but again, it's right. early. It's only it's, it's still... only eight fifteen my time. So yeah. As far as I know, I think my brother is supposed to join. Seven sixteen. Uh, time. Yep, we got Nine, time. Nine sixteen here. The good news oh, yeah. is, with Susan not here, I might actually get to sleep before one thirty. Exactly. The game will probably <laughs> go fairly quick. I think it did last time. Yeah, I seem to remember that from last year. Yeah, and and, and, and at Rob some point was still gonna... giving me trouble about taking too long. I'm like. Get off my case, buddy. Yeah, um, and at some point they're going to probably call in from Vegas and just you know. I hope so. You know, then one group picture like they did last year. Yep, that's oh, that where uh, sweet. that's where Adrian is right now in yep. Vegas. Yep, yep. Yeah. I've yeah, seen lots of pictures of yep. uh, from her and uh, Susan. They've been posting a bunch. Yeah, I saw Carl there and um, Rob. And uh, Carolyn, all all of them. What's your kitty's this name? One. This one is Katniss. Katniss. Uh, yep. and Katniss. Wow. You really like those movies, don't you? Yep. The other cat's name uh, is Primrose. Primrose. <laughs> nice. I like it. Yeah. Anyone else? Oh, dang it. Admit all. Admit all. Admit all. Peggy's joining. Bill's joining. Oh. Oh, good. And Ramiro. Oh. Got my crystal ball behind me. <laughs> crystal oh, ball. Look at the doggy. Welcome. Got an actual crystal ball. Oh, cool. Lights up and everything. Welcome <laughs> to Peggy, Ramiro, and Bill. Reminds right, me of uh, Hilarious House of Frankenstein. You remember that show, Cat? Oh, here comes your brother. No, it was a kids show back in the early seventies. What was it called, Vincent? Hilarious House of Frankenstein. Mm, it had on it uh, Vincent Price. If you know who Vincent Price was, oh yeah, was. he's great. Yeah, it was the so, F- Frankenstein, right? Not Frankenstein. No, everyone yeah. thinks it's Frankenstein, but it's Frankenstein. But it was like Frankenstein. Berenstein, okay. Berenstein, I, 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 I vaguely remember that show. 
No, it's Frankenstein. No, Jack. It's Frank, it's Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Yeah. No, not Frankenstein. No. <laughs> Hilarious House of Frankenstein. Uh, Billy uh, something so was part of it. I can't remember his name. It's long since dead. Most of the people that worked on the show are long since dead. So, Vincent, what show are you talking about? The hilarious, hilarious House, House of Frankenstein. I, I was, like I said, I remember that. I don't. It wasn't a Canadian show, was it? It was a Canadian show. Yeah. Oh, so, so that may be why I don't recognize it. Okay, yeah. God, it must be very old then, because like I've been away for a few years. So, and but I remember the show. Well, like, yeah. there was a Wolfman Jack segment where he would, like, dance to actual, this, like, the actual psychedelic Wolfman. music. Yeah. yeah the Wolfman Jack was Jack. not Canadian. Wolfman Jack was not Canadian. He was American, yeah. Well, Vincent was Price American, wasn't either, but... Our TV show. Honorary we, Canadian. Yeah, we used to allow yeah. Americans to come up there occasionally. Did you, know, did you know that there was a Canadian version of Howdy Doody? Uh, there was the American version and the Canadian version, and they were they were similar and they were different. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Ah. All right. Welcome. You know, Faith excites, and I, I excite you know, and Vincent, you're too young. Actually, Ron, Ron, you're too young too. <laughs> I remember that stuff. That was Larry Mann was on that show. Yep, Larry D. Mann, please. No, only when he moved to Hollywood. Oh, that's when he right, moved, when right. he moved to California, he had to add the D to his name. That's right. Yes. Like Michael J. Fox, also from yes. Edmonton. Yep. Uh, no, he's. I think he's from. Uh, I thought he was from Winnipeg. I thought he was from Vancouver. No. I thought he was from Halifax. Maybe Vancouver, yeah. How many yeah, other yeah. cities in Canada can we name? Aren't those <laughs> all like the same place? <clears throat> yeah, he was from. <laughs> wait, now. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, cat, <laughs> cat. Where, where are you? Uh, Edmonton. Good. Oh, okay. I I played uh, I played uh, um, I a season, that I played away, a season with the uh, with the orchestra there. I remember you telling me that. Yeah, and it was called. Welcome, Karen. <laughs> it's snowing now. Yeah, I saw. I saw. It, it was really funny. I saw a picture posted by Adrian that they were de-icing her plane when they left. It's a little <laughs> little soon for oh, that. My God. Not in Alberta. Oh, yeah. It's not. <laughs> little change for her going from the snow down to Vegas. It snowed a little bit, but it's not, not that in Vegas. There. Not in Vegas, no. Well, welcome, not in Vegas. Oh, welcome, gosh. Cindy. We can barely tell you're there. She's a ghost. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, there it's you go. Up. Okay. There it is. Oh, we're getting a little nice little turnout here. You yeah, know, we are. This isn't yeah. bad. I was not sure how oh, many we people. get for uh, a CSI game. And it's well, a special day. I mean, we're seeing Kevin's room instead of this, the usual stuff that's fine. Oh, wow. Him. We're spoiled. Yeah, but he's busy watching mm -hmm. television and ignoring us right now. So, J Jamie, you didn't go to Las Vegas for the, for the weekend? Uh, it's close enough, but what the heck? <laughs> too cold. It's too cold there for me. Oh, that's true. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey. Um. So, uh, 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 Avi just uh, applied to another position. Uh, uh, at a university just outside of uh, Seattle. Oh so, wow. <laughs> So who knows? We'll see where he is, see if he ends up anywhere. He just likes to be all over the place, doesn't he, Alan? Well, I just like just as long as it's far away from Chicago, that's all. And that's wherever it is, yeah. What's the name of it? You know, I, it's it's uh it's uh well it's the it's <clears throat> campus one of the campuses of the University of Washington and it starts with a B. I had never heard of it, I can't remember, but parents Bainbridge. Have to, pardon me? Bainbridge Bainbridge. Uh, I Bainbridge might be what it was, so something like that. This is the island up in the north part there. Oh no, or uh, yeah, or uh, yeah, but it, I started with a B. I I wasn't familiar with it, but um, Avi did a little research, and he found it's a decent school. Oh, so, thanks for uh, oh. thanks for your concern there, uh, um, uh. Susan Gerbic's imposter. Not your name. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need Jeez. to put my real name in there? <laughs> Just call me I imposter. Believe, I, I forgot. I can't believe I forgot your name. <laughs> my name is yeah. Ben. Ben. Sorry. Yes, that's quite. So what happens that's when you, you disappear so long, Vince, and you start forgetting things? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, it's the old age thing. So. Oh, you're still a young puppy. <laughs> 
Well, Vincent, don't worry. I forget things that uh, I have said like five minutes later. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, it... <clears throat> so, who is Pilar? Uh, I don't know. We have, a, we have a new person here. Are, are you a new person? Welcome. Hi. No, no, no. This is Karen. I. I... Oh, hey. okay. She stole so, somebody's phone? No. So, um, Susan knows me as Karen, so that's how you all know me, but okay. other people as Pilar. How many well, welcome, names Pilar. Do you I'm have? imposter Susan Gerbic. So, um, I my computer crashed, so my video is going to be on a little Chrome book. But what I found in a meeting the other night is it can't do video and real time audio at the same time. So I have the audio on my phone. Uh, gotcha. <clears throat> well, hello. There you are. There you are. Hi. Hello. And, and I don't know how hello. to change. Hello, possums. Hello. So. <laughs> So does anybody know uh, everyone who's running around is here? Again, I will say for everyone, uh, I have Kevin is round one. Bill, you will be round two. Ramiro is round three. Peggy, round four. And Jamie is bringing up the rear with the bonus. If that okay. works out for everyone. Yeah. Okay. Why wouldn't it? I always wonder about that. You always ask, but it's like... <clears throat> well, you never know if someone needs to rearrange because they, you know, have somewhere to be or uh, that's they, true. they're having computer woes, you know, that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. so are we going to try and do five teams with this or are we going to go with like four teams? Uh, well, we have five rounds, so we really have to go with five teams. But, uh, I mean, we're looking at about three people per team, so. Yeah, I yeah. guess we could do that. All right. Yeah. I, I'd like to be on Kat's team, just us Canadians, I guess. <laughs> Wait, hey, Vincent, no trying to take over the world, you darn Canadians. Ah, well. Oh. <laughs> Why else would we be here? <laughs> team, Al would have team Alberta. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I think Canada taking over the world might not be the worst thing, right? Uh, <laughs> and this stage will let will take you. <laughs> we don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, I think it, uh, I think that would be uh I think that would be a step in the right direction actually. Read the book's exoneration that came out years ago <laughs> that was all about Canada defeating the US and taking over. When we burnt down the White House, you mean then? Uh not quite that old, but <laughs> I don't think I don't think Canada would take over anything uh, really. It's a true story, you got to read it. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially after who we just uh, uh, elected as Speaker of the House, you know, it might be time oh. to to move up north to Canada. Right. I'm like, come on. We'll see. We'll see how long this lasts. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe they'll vote him out. What was that, Jamie? A real winner. Everyone's welcome to come to Thailand. All right. Sounds good. You got a you got a spare room for me and my uh, two kids, so you can. Yes, you know, actually, we do. So yeah, you're welcome. Everyone's we'll, we'll, welcome. We'll we'll pay room and board. That's okay. <laughs> it's cheap here. Yeah. My cousin from the UK lives in Thailand now. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, where? Oh cool. Do you know where? I totally forget where. <laughs> I'm a horrible, horrible cousin. <laughs> oh, what do you? How dare you? I Wow. Oh, I can't. I can't. I even remembered remember it like my, an hour ago. <laughs> my name, so. You know. Yeah. Oh, what do you know? Oh, that's nice. L let alone my nieces and nephews. When you're the last of eight <laughs> children and you have oh, probably twenty-five to thirty, you know, nieces and nephews, and then they start having mm -hmm. their own kids and family get-togethers. You're all like, I haven't seen oh. you in ten years. Uh, yeah. What was your name again? This is why I'm glad my cousins were all smart. They they came from like parents that had four siblings, and one of my uncles is Mormon, so it's he has eight children. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Eight? But his second oldest daughter is very outspoken liberal, and so it's it's wonderful for her to call him out on his magic underwear. 
Nice. Magic underwear. All right, yeah. let's start to assigning some breakout rooms. I, I met a woman once who told me that she had eight children because she was Mormon, but she lost her religion, but she couldn't make it retroactive. So she still had eight children. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, I found my cousin's place. And I'm going to totally butcher how you pronounce it, but yeah, Ken Chanabury. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's kind of near Bangkok. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a city near Bangkok. Did she pronounce it right? No. I, I can't no, pronounce it. Not. No, so okay. it's close enough. Better than me. <laughs> you recognized I, it. <laughs> yeah, I hear it on the news. Yeah, it's it's I think it's an industrial <laughs> city south of Bangkok. Yeah, he teaches he teaches operational English for the Royal Thai <clears throat> Army. Oh, what do you know? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Well. And on the side, he rescues dogs. <laughs> there's a lot of, yeah, there's sort of, there's a lot of street dogs here. Tons and tons of street dogs. Oh, that's good. Good for him. All right. There's a lot of uh, schools in Calgary for going overseas, teaching hmm. English. <clears throat> it's, it's, yeah. yeah, it's really popular here. A lot of, a lot of oh. tourists come here and they get positions as um, English teachers in the local international schools. Very popular. Because yeah. English is basically the second language here. And where we live, um, English is basically the first language. So it's, wow. it's very popular. No. Is anyone leaving early? So I need to worry about where you're placed. Yes. I don't think it'll be as long tonight. So. Oh, well, I'll try to stay. Okay. Well, I we might. appreciate that if you can. But, depending you know. how long, depending on my yeah, my energy level, I might need to. <laughs> I had kind of a rough week. <laughs> yeah, I'm right there with you. Oh. I may have to pop in and out. I, I I might have contractors coming over the house to do some work. I might have to pop in and out in a while. But who knows? Hopefully, it's Excuse all me. good reasons that they're doing stuff to the house, not. Yeah, yeah, we because have a door. Something horrible happened. <laughs> no, we just have a door that rotted away. The door is being replaced. Something simple, but um, they only speak Thai. They don't speak English. So when they said they're going to come, I couldn't understand what they said. What day? So, so it's either tomorrow, today, tomorrow, or a year from now. Oh my! <laughs> you know, I, you have an automatic translator. Yeah, we use I use Google Translate, but yeah. Um, yeah, but I get about 50% accuracy. So I think either they said today yeah. or next week or a month. I'll find yeah. out when the doorbell rings. Yeah. Or as they say in Trinidad, just now. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing on oh, the news awful. tonight the destruction from the hurricane that hit Mexico. and. Oh, yeah, oh, it's devastating. Goodness. All right, you guys ready? I'm going to open some rooms so you guys can come up with some <laughs> wonderful team names. Cool beans. Should I be as big of a stickler as, as Susan? And all all names must, must be uh, must impress me. You Otherwise, it will be the, denied, um, and you will have to come up with a new one. We have all the people in the right room, so they don't have, you know what I mean? Uh, right yep. people in the right room? Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Based on your uh, categories. And then, you know, everyone ben, else first here and there. Ben, I'm sorry that I have the two. Oh, that's screen. okay. I already, I already got both of you, both, in both parents rooms. In, in the same room. So thank you. All right. That, in the same room. That's good. Yep. Exactly. I'll be right back. I just have to go get something being delivered. Okay. Hey. Okay. Put her in the right, go, go, go forth and create team names.
Welcome back. Thanks. It was wine, so I had to sign. Okay. They have to see it, you know, make sure I'm over 21, which I am, you know, by three or four times by now. Barely, barely over 21. Okay. All right. Doom is going to keep bothering me that I made it. I have unmuted myself. Okay.
Welcome, Mike. I am going to assign you to room three. We lose Lee. Oh, Lee's back. Welcome back, sir. Did you have computer problems? I will re add you to your team. Excuse me. A couple more minutes. Anybody else? No. All right. Hopefully I gave you guys enough time and not too much time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was like, right. eh, 10 minutes? That, that ought to be enough to have a discussion and come up with a team name. That should. We, we, uh, Jamie always comes up with good team names. So. Oh, yeah. It's always fun to have Jamie on your team. He, sure he comes up like with good it. ones. It's yeah. my homework. My Thursday night homework when I go to bed is to think of team names. Oh, uh, is it? Nice. I like it. Yeah. And luckily, Mike joined uh, later, and it filled out the teams because one of the teams only had uh, only had three, two people in it. So, ah, I was say senile. 
right. Uh, sorry, Michael. Uh, Mike, that just went right over my head. <laughs> yeah, no, that was yeah, that was, it was a very poor taste joke. So, well, not the taste. That I just, I well. just. All right. <clears throat> Are we ready to uh, Rumble. dispense with some team names? Team number one, Karen, Kevin, and Ron. What is your team name? The witness just admitted that we won the game and the judge should just end the game immediately. Wow. <laughs> I wonder where you came up with a name like that. <laughs> That's hilarious. All um, right. Team number two, Bill, Celia, and Lee. What is your team name? Us is U.S. <laughs> Let's say the Great Pumpkin. Oh, well, hey, <laughs> anytime the Great Pumpkin speaks, you got to listen, right? That's so pathetic. Jeez. Did, does everyone know where that came from? Yeah. yeah. The great He's pumpkin, Charlie Brown? No, 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 the quote. No, the U.S. <laughs> no. Great Trump thing. being what? as stupid as he's ever been. Oh, well, I figured oh, it probably I... would have been a stupid Trump thing, but must not have come. Oh, so, I'm, so embarrassing. Well, the, th the embarrassing thing is, he says, gee, I wonder if anyone else has come up with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that U.S. spells up. Yeah, and they was. In front of that group, he wasn't embarrassed. They all thought he was a genius. genius. <laughs> oh, my God. Comparatively speaking, he probably was right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Round three, or should I say team three, uh, Alan, Ramiro, and Mike. What is your team name? Um, well, I guess I'll put it in here. Um, sure. Since uh, Susan's not here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Although it was pointed out, we probably should have it that when the, she's the there. <laughs> yeah, where's the R? Yeah, R I was going to say. Where's... Now, how how many different pronunciations are we going to go through there for that team? There? <laughs> it was from that episode where Thomas Jefferson got hit in the nose with a football. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Washington, Washington, Washington. <laughs> okay, Washington. team Sorry, four. <laughs> Really we cool. have Cindy, Faith, and Peggy. <laughs> what is your team name? Team four is Mike Rowe Johnson, Speaker of the House. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I like it. We're naughty. We're all females, and we just want to pick on the penises. There you go. Uh, uh, what was it? A place that Carl and I both worked at uh, together previously. One of the One of the people that worked there was Marcus Smallwood. <laughs> yeah. it's like biggest dickus <laughs> yeah exactly okay and finally team five jamie cat and vincent what is your team name of the eighteen thousand six hundred mike johnson's in the usa we're stuck with this one <laughs> <laughs> or like you it. guys are anyway so. very good yes uh, well it's yeah. going to affect everybody. So, Vincent, you're not out of the out of the woods. Yeah. Or... <laughs> All right. Well, welcome everyone to season four, game one eighty six. Tonight, 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 we have playing for the lovely trivia trophy and lots of meaningless internet points. <laughs> is round one team one comprised of karen kevin and ron the witness just admitted that we won the game and the judge should just end the game immediately team two bill celia and lee u.s is or us is u.s thus saith the great pumpkin mm -hmm. team three alan ramiro and mike Washington, 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 Washington. Team four, Cindy, Faith, Peggy, Micro, Johnson, Speaker of the House. <laughs> and finally, team five, Jamie, Kat, and Vincent of the 18,600 Mike Johnsons in the USA. We're stuck with this one. 
All right. Mm -hmm. And so first up, we have Kevin. Kevin, are you ready? Yes. To get this party started. Yes. We're All ready right. to rumble. What is your category, sir? Famous people that I have met or photographed. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me give you powers. Inspired also, by Alan's previous oh. category. Nice. Oh, that's I good. like it. All right. Question number one. <laughs> one of my childhood heroes, his hit songs include Vincent, Castles in the Sky, and a remake of a Roy Orbison song, Crying. And then, of course, that big hit that everybody knows. It spent four weeks at number one in 1972 and until recently was the longest song to ever reach number one at over eight and a half minutes long. Name the song or the artist or the song of the artists who broke the record with a longer song over 10 minutes long. Question number two. These are kind of long because I gave a lot of hints. This unusual performer, born in 1953, was the first female to have a debut album achieve four top five hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. She has won awards at the Grammys, Emmys, and Tonys, and is known for her distinctive image featuring a variety of hair color and eccentric clothing, and for her powerful and distinctive four-octave singing range. She has sold over 50 million records worldwide, Name her album, any of her hit songs from that album, or her name. So I'm giving you lots of ways to answer the questions. Just get something right. And you'll get a point. This performer, I almost did a call on this one because it's similar to the last question, but not enough in common. This performer, also born in 1953, is a four-time Grammy winner, possesses a five-octane vocal octave vocal range has the second video ever played on mtv so i've done this question before if you remember that category she was inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame november 2022 she has sold over 35 million albums worldwide she has 15 top 40 hits on the billboard hot 100 name her or any of her 15 hits so go ahead name a song and a person if you get either one i'll give you the point This one is kind of, I don't know, it's not really a question, but it's a question kind of hidden, so it's tricky. Question number four, one of my childhood heroes, a Hall of Famer, but not a musician. The answer I'm looking for is a fill in the blank. Who is number four? I'm going to go two now, two questions in a row. Another of my heroes, this guy's stuff is considered by many to the, be the best at what he mainly did. Besides his main job, he also was an actor, appearing on TV shows, movies, and guest hosting The Tonight Show and Saturday Night Live. He sold over 2 million albums, appeared on 14 HBO specials, authored 12 books, his first book was published in 1998, spent 18 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list, and by 2001 had sold over 750,000 copies. He once replaced Ringo Starr. I photograph, photographed him from the fourth row at Boston Symphony Hall in 1991. Name him or the book. Number six, this guy is known as a musician only because he played a particular instrument on a very popular TV show. <clears throat> he is the only surviving member of that TV show. He appeared on the hit song Moonlight Feels Right from the late 1970s band Starbuck, but he's mostly remembered for his TV role. I want you to name his real name or his TV name or the TV show he appeared on. Guess one of each, get one correct, you get a point. This next one was inspired by Rob Palmer. 
This country star is a member of the Grand Ole Opry. His hit songs include Alcohol, Water, I'm Gonna Miss Her, the fishing song, and Rob Palmer's favorite, Ticks. <laughs> Number eight, this guy rocks. One of his hits was featured in 1983 film starring Tom Cruise, who famously lip syncs and dances in his underwear as this song plays. Name the artist, the song, or the movie. The Guinness World Records lists this song as the second best-selling single in the world, with 33 million copies sold and as the highest-selling single since the charts began in the 1950s. Name the song or one of its co-writers. Number 10. This guy had and his band have won more than 60 awards, including 22 Grammys at the Grammy Awards, and the band won Best Rock Duo or Group Vocal Seven times, album of the year twice, record of the year twice, song of the year twice, best rock album twice. In March 2005, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of his band in their first year of eligibility. In, two, in 2016, Rolling Stone ranked him as the 96th greatest drummer of all time. He was placed at number 21 on Stylist Magazine's list, list of 50 greatest rock drummers. Name the guy... Name this guy or the band he plays. And I'm going to show you a photo. This photo was taken by me in 1984 from Private Civic Center. And hint, none of the answers are Billy Joel. So now I'm going to show you the guy's photo. None are Billy Joel. I didn't think that was possible, Kevin. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't a drummer? What if we can name the band he's in? That's what I said. I'm going to tell you. Okay. I gotta show I gotta show the picture somehow. Uh what was the band? Oh, I, I didn't say the band. But Rob Palmer would be very proud of the length of your questions. Yes. I could try to find the photo to post it. Uh see that? No. It looks like your dog. Share screen. I don't know how to share the screen. It's just not showing up. Go to the bottom. Yeah, but it's not showing up in my in my pictures. Oh. I got too, I got too oh. many windows open. Okay. You got too many things, yeah. Yeah, yep. I just gotta minimize a couple of things. I can shut that off. Uh -huh. Yeah, screen. Why is it doing this? Oh, wait. It's Sharon. Something's coming. Something's up. Oh, oh. Screen. Now it's gone. Yeah. It's the wrong screens, though. I can't seem to get it on there. Well, why don't you show it to us when we get when we come back? <laughs> I was going to show you the picture. She'd be able to guess. Let's see. How the hell do I do this? Hoping you can make it your you can make it your background like you have. Yeah, you there you go. Know. That's a good idea. Yeah, That's yeah. a good idea. You don't need to see Pepper anymore. <laughs> bring, her, bring, her, bring her back afterwards, of course. Yeah. Well, there's a dog there. It's three dog night. <laughs> oh. Don't move. Oh, can you spotlight? Oops, let me shut me off. That's a hint, huh? Oh. Move your head, Kevin. I know, I know. There you go. There, how's that? Okay. You took this okay. picture in 1984? Yes. Oh, that doesn't help. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, everybody got it? Go to your rooms. Yeah. 
Or I send you the ones, I guess. Yes, you should have power. Or if you need me to, just let me know. And thank you, everyone. You were very well behaved for not being muted. <laughs> you all get a gold star for the evening. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. That was very good. Yep. And perfect timing because my computer is going to reboot. <laughs> all right, perfect. Just made it. Okay, everybody still assigned to rooms? Okay. I'm back in about two minutes. All right, sounds good, sir. All right. And, and then I'll be in room one room. when I come back. So don't let the rooms close. Open them again if, if I leave and screw it up somehow. Okay. Welcome. Or should oh, I say, thank you okay. for welcoming me to your room. Okay, well, Karen's having some technical difficulties. Okay. Do you want me to share the screen? I have all the questions. Oh, I've, I've got them up. I'm already sharing it here, I think. Oh, okay. I see it now. Thank you. Can, can you hear me now, friends? Now we hear yes, you. All we right. can hear you now. And can you see my shared screen, Karen? Uh, um, no, I my computer crashed. So what I'm viewing this on is called a Chromebook. Yep. And everything is super small. Um, okay, but I know, on. I know some of the answers. Do you, Ron? Okay. I I only got one for sure, which is the okay. fourth one. But so we can start working our way down. Great! I do not know the fourth one, and awesome. uh, we imposter Susan Gerbic to help yeah. too. Yep. All right. I so won't for, be of too much help. So for number one, mm -hmm. I know the song, and I just can't remember who sang it. And the the American Pie. It is it is Don McLean then. Don McLean, yes. Okay. Vincent is a beautiful song. Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah. Starry Night and all that stuff. Okay. Number two. I should know these. They're born the same year I was. I'm guessing this singer just wants to have fun, like all girls. I think it's Cindy Lauper. I think it is. Okay. She's about the right. I can't remember how to spell her first name. I know there's a Y in there somewhere. She okay. spells it Y N D I. It's Y N D I. Okay. I had the right letters, just the wrong order. Okay. That does look better. Okay. Number three, the other person born my year. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a previous um, question we had. However, I do remember this Pat Benatar. Ah, oh, I didn't realize she also had the. Uh, I didn't oh, realize large... she was an. I didn't realize she was an old fart like me. Wow, okay. wonderful! She is probably oh, yeah. five foot one. Yep. I saw her concert before, tiny, and you know it's disappointing to hear some vocalists, uh, pop vocalists in person, right? Because they don't have the chops. She studied opera. That woman. That's can. right. That's right. I heard about that. Yeah, she's all lungs. I don't know number four. Number four is Bobby Orr. Ooh, who great. was is number he, four for the Bruins. Ah, mm. uh, nice. And I know he's shown us the picture of him with Bobby Orr. So Yes, he did. I remember that. Yep. Good job, Ron. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Ron. You know, number five, I'm guessing. Do you think it's George Carlin? Uh, or No. Well, yeah, is this the one where he mentioned it not not really an art uh, musician or whatever? Yeah, and he's guest hosted. He's definitely done the Tonight Show and SNL. And I know he's he, done. Yeah, actually, I like that. He once replaced Ringo Starr. That doesn't ring a bell. That doesn't ring a bell. Not to say that that makes the answer not correct. I'm just trying it, to figure out when he would have done that. Don't forget, it, it doesn't say he replaced him as a drummer. Right. Ringo Starr might have been a guest host who yep. couldn't make it, and he filled in for him that way. Yeah, totally. All right, I like it. Yeah. So, so that's just a guess. That's now, the good, other now good six one. I'm guessing as well. I'm thinking a monk from the Monkees TV show. Michael Nesmith? That's who I'm thinking. It says he played a particular instrument on a very popular yeah, TV show. Yeah, did the Monkees... Did one of them have a weird instrument? I can't remember. Well, let me see. Uh, he is uh, Peter, the only surviving member. So that's Peter true. Torque, Torque, is that his name? Played the drums. No, that was Mickey Dolan's. 
Oh, Mickey was a drummer. Mickey okay. was the drummer. Uh, Davy Davy uh, Jones was the singer, and then the other two guys played guitar. Hmm. But you're right; he's the only one who's still alive of the four. Oh no, no, no! Nesmith's because Mickey recently... Dolan. He recently died. Mickey Dolan's is the only one who's still alive. It's just a guess. And they're only the sur the only surviving member. Yeah, he's okay. the only one so, of four. So well, yeah, okay. I don't, I wouldn't call drums a particular instrument, but I can't think of anything better. So Mickey Dolan's that's the surviving member. Okay. Of the monkeys, yeah. Well, I think cool. it's Mike I think it's Michael Nesmith. I thought that because I know Mickey Dolan's is still alive. I thought Michael Nesmith died recently. I, yeah, I thought I remember hearing that. Well, does it say anything about? Yeah, it says the only surviving member. Yeah, oh, this okay. guy's the only only surviving member of the TV show. Well, there you go, Mike Mickey Dolans. There you yeah, go. Which is or, okay. or, or or the whole monkeys thing. It could be wrong. Well, yeah. there is that too. But um, yeah. and I remember the song "Moonlight Feels Right" by Starbuck, but I don't remember. Yeah, I, anybody I in saw that video recently i mean like in the last two or three years and i cannot place who it was yeah and i have no idea about country music so me me neither we had this in uh rob's question i do not remember it at all no i we just Let's go in and straight up herbert so. herbert straw chewer yeah i could spell that i would i could do herbert Herbert Hayseed. For those of you watching, this is humor and not meant to disparage all of country music, which is an admirable art form. <laughs> all right. Number eight. Uh, what song? I know I know it. I just, my I, brain's not working. I, it's part of it's driving me nuts. And the second time we've had this is a uh, question and I can never remember. I remember the scene and I can never remember the uh, the movie. Just put that old record on the shelf. Yeah. It lays a little da 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 da. The that... same record ain't got the same soul. I like that. Old time. I always thought they were singing about ice cream. I was old time Rocky Road. But... <laughs> then we need a song. Wait, name the artist, the song, or the movie? Well, Risky Business is the risky movie. Risky Business That's is the movie, but I, like I said, my brain keeps just disappearing. But do you want to go the old time rock and roll or Risky Business? Risky oh. Business, certain a hundred percent about. It's uh, John Fogarty, I think, is the artist. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but Risky but, Business is a sure thing. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty darn sure on the movie or on the song title too. But yeah, yeah. you never know if it's one of those. Oh, oh well, that's what it. it what it. Uh, lyrics are saying in the song but the actual right. title is this right. i hate those right. or it's or it's only old time rock and roll or it's right it's old time you know it may yeah. be yep. exactly, exactly. Yeah. but risky business like we're that. pretty safe with so yep exactly okay I don't know the other two guinness, guinness world records Second best. oh um It's not going to be something like We Are the World or something like that, is it? Oh, but it's single single in the world, not album, right? Okay. Hey, yeah, maybe that's it. We Are the World. Again, that's just a guess, just based upon, you know, something that had huge reach. Or, I don't know, maybe We Are the World is number one or number... I was one feed, and yeah. something else a second. I don't know. Feed the world. There was feed the world. Let them know it's Christmas time. Feed yeah. the world. One of your favorite songs, I know, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I was also looking at a Michael Jackson song, but it's just one of the co-writers, which licks me because that was a collaboration effort. Oh, am I, I like gonna be able to world. assign him to a room? Hold on. We, we are the world. Yeah. All right, that works for me. Okay, and that gets us down to the last one here. 
a lot of information, but none of it is ringing a bell. Do you mind reading it, Ron? Sure, here we go. This guy and his band have won more than 60 awards, including 22 Grammy Awards. At the Grammy Awards, the band has won Best Rock Duo or Group with Vocals seven times, Album of the Year twice, Record of the Year twice, Song of the Year twice, and Best Rock Album twice. In March 2005, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of his band in their first year of eligibility. In 2016, Rolling Stone ranked him as the 96th greatest drummer of all time. He was placed at number 21 on Stylus Magazine's list of the 50 greatest rock drummers. Name this guy or the band he plays with. And then there was the photo, which didn't help worth a damn. Right, because I thought it was going to show maybe one or two of the other bandmates. Well, do you think this is either Aerosmith uh, it's not the Rolling Stones. We would recognize the drummer for the Rolling Stones. Do you think it's Aerosmith? His haircut doesn't look like an Aerosmith haircut, but he is the drummer. Kevin, why can't I make you a co-host when we're in the breakout rooms? That is a really stupid feature of Zoom, if you ask me. Sorry, I just had to express All right. that. I just couldn't bounce around to rooms and, and that, I missed most of it because I had my computer rebooted. Yeah, I can I can move you around. So let me move you to another. Yeah, room. fling me to another room every now and then. OK, I'll do that now. Sorry to uh, interrupt. Team. That's OK. Yeah, because I'm thinking that, you know, with the Rolling Stones and Beatles and all that, I would assume that they were eligible for 2005 anyways. The timing might be right with Aerosmith. Or which? Are we on to 10? Did we go with We Are the World for? Yeah. Yeah. We're on okay, to number. Sorry. Yeah. So we're on to 10 and the 96th greatest drummer of all time. Um, and you were thinking it was, it's who again? Well, I was wondering Aerosmith, but but Ron brings up a thought a thought provoking thing. How long must a band be in existence before it qualifies for the Hall of Fame? That will tell us the band's origin time. Right. And that's why I'm thinking eliminating a lot of the 60s bands, because I would assume that they would have been in the Hall of Fame before 2005. Right. I would think and so. It, and that picture didn't seven. look super like he looked pretty young in that picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a hairstyle that looks like a, the Aerosmith. And Aerosmith was um, in the uh, 70s, early 70s. So, And I don't hmm. think it's Phil Collins because there's far too much hair. What about it didn't the, look like Phil Collins. No. What about the Eagles? No, the Eagles, too. They were in the since the 70s. Yeah, I can't believe that they would not have been inducted well before 2005. 60 awards. Grammy. But I mean, they, they, well, it says here the band has won the best rock duo oh, or group with vocal. Okay, never yeah, mind. So that could group. be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking of bands now that started like in the late 70s or early, like uh, EL Electric Light Orchestra, <laughs> um, uh, Blue Oyster Cult. Um, um, Judas Priest. Um, I can't see Kevin going to Judas Priest. Who all have we mentioned so far as possible options? Aeros, a okay, Aeros Aerosmith. Not, uh, Electric Light Orchestra, Eagles. Um, we dis dismissed Rolling Stones. Um, um, I mean, some of the groups Judas, you were mentioning, would they have had 22 Grammy Awards? Judas like, Priest, Judas, they're heavy metal. Yeah, they're also heavy metal. Is it going to be someone like in the like the U2 era, or is that Blue, not Blue old Oyster. enough? Uh, what about, yeah, what about U2? Yeah, U2, I could see it. Yeah, let's put U2. And Bono, well, we don't want Bono, but. Uh, yeah, I've never heard him mention them, but, you know, why not? And again, I'm just throwing something out there. I don't have anything to base that off of. But the timing uh, would be reasonable for that. Mm -hmm. I'm just randomly moving Kevin from he's like in the middle of listening to a question. And he just gets moved. 
or or answering one would be better yeah. about well i we think have. it's silly that the host can't reassign a co-host while the breakout rooms are open like i'm the host i should be able to do that at any time during the session yeah. well, do you anyway. have to go back to the main room to do it maybe it's yeah I'd like i'd have to go back to the i'd have to leave this room go back to the main room have him in the main room with me and then i can make him a co-host you yeah. shouldn't you shouldn't have to do that that's just silly zoom if you're listening make that change there you go <laughs> All right, we got an answer for everything, team. We have we've answered every question. Would would you mind dating them even though they're written there? The answers, please, Ron. Okay, you just need the answers, hopefully. Okay, uh, number one is Don McLean. Number two is Cindy Lauper. Three is Pat Benatar. Four is Bobby Orr. Five is George Carlin. Six is Mickey Dolans. Seven is Herbert Hayseed. <laughs> we, we, we might want to change that to at least a real name at some point. But anyways, uh, eight is Risky Business. Nine is We Are the World. And ten is You Too. Okay, so... What is a real modern country artist? Modern. I don't know any modern. I would say like Roy Orbison or something, but that yeah, wouldn't be modern. <laughs> and and staying is this country star, so we don't know even know if it's a guy or a girl. Okay, let's put guy. Luke what's his name? He's on the he does American Idol. Luke uh, Luke Bryant? Luke Bryant. Let's put is Luke Bryant. It? I don't again, I'm just I don't at least he's a mo contemporary uh, and a country. real person. I like it. I, I actually do like classic country, you know, like um, Eddie Arnold and uh, Slim Whitman and Patsy Cline. I like all those from the 60s and stuff. You or guys, Kevin, I feel terrible good... just ripping you from room to room. It, oh, it, that was like, perfect timing, on everybody. I okay. went in there and said, got any questions, ask now because I could get flung at any second. <laughs> nice. And it worked. Everybody asked one question, it seems. Oh, perfect. Um we didn't have any questions, right, team? We think nope. we're pretty good. We, we um, only have answers. We got them all, by the way. So, unless and you Kevin, some... I can't make you a co host unless we're in the main room. So, I might just close the breakout rooms. Did it look like everybody? Yeah, close the done? breakout rooms for the two minute, one minute warning. Everybody's at the same point you're at. All right, cool. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. We all, uh, we're good, right? We're going back. Yeah. Yep. We're going back. Oh, well, yeah. I see it. And, and thank you, Ben, for um, hosting this. Yeah. Thanks for doing My that. My that pleasure. Was good. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank yes. you. I appreciate it. And hi to all the people at CSI who um, may be watching this right now. Yeah, not exactly. Now, but eventually watching it. Oh, I'm sure they're going to be doing that tonight. Yep. There's nothing else going on there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, heading back. Recording in progress. We're the only ones back, Kevin. What's up with that? All right, let's see. I guess everyone's taking their uh, 60 seconds to heart. Yeah. Bob McGee? Wait, oh, yeah the, yeah, the mayor. No, he ran from. Boy, we're just going to get a high score. All right. Yeah. Ooh. Well, hopefully uh, everyone got enough time. It was hard because, you know, we had to readmit Kevin and trying to add him back to co-host after you've left is a pain unless you go back to the main room. So. Oh, you had fun throwing them all over the place. I did. I ran at random <laughs> intervals, just threw him into different rooms. He it was, was pretty with fun. us for like less than 10 seconds. <laughs> I felt bad, but I had to bring him back to the room one to ask how people were doing. So everybody good, or do we need to open up the breakout room so everybody had enough time? All right. Uh, I think we're that okay. was hard. Oh, no. Okay. Are, are we ready for scores? I think Add, we're ready. Adding, yeah. Adding more time would not help. I will <laughs> post the answers later. I'm going to go through them in a screenshot, the screen thing. Okay.
Number one, Don McLean. The song is American Pie. The other artist was Taylor Swift. And I forgot the name of the song. American. Number two is Cindy Lauper. Uh, hey, very good. <laughs> Number three is Pat Benatar. Uh, Number four is Bobby Orr. Yay. Yay, Ron. Look at that. The hint was number four. Yeah. Bobby Orr. Nice. Number five. Ah, George oh, Harlan. Good job, team. Number six. Keith Thibodeau. Richard Keith. That was his two names. He played little Ricky Ricardo on the I Love Lucy show. Oh. Ah. Hmm. The country western star is Brad Paisley. It's not Herbert Hayseed? Nope. Okay. Good guess. Then uh, the song was uh, Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seger. Oh. Or Risky Business. Would Risky work. Business, mm -hmm. the movie. And then Elton John with the song um, mm. about Lady Diana there. I get the name in the thing, in my answers when I text it in. Ben. And then win. this is Larry Mullen of the band U2. Woo! All right. Wow. Good one. Hey, nice. Um, Kevin, will you please tell us about the George Carlin Ringo star replacement? The movie, the show is called Thomas the Tank Engine, Shining Time Station. He played Mr. Conductor. And Ringo Starr was replaced by George Carlin as the conductor. Oh, that I makes sense. That. Okay. Yep. Shining Time Station, also known as Thomas the Tank Engine. I can't was... believe you missed Little Ricky as many times as you've shared that picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of why I did it, because I see some people will remember. Mm -hmm. So I'll post the answers now. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Because you had a lot of choices of songs and stuff like that you could put in. So you're telling us that Cindy Lauper is 70 years old? Mm. Yeah. That could be true. Because we had uh, yeah. a great old. debate about, you know, all these women singers that we came up with. And you're like, oh, she can't be that old. She can't be that old. She can't be that old. She's <laughs> my age. I Be careful with this. <laughs> that picture of the drummer is like almost 40 years old. Because I'm almost as old as it. Mm. Yeah, that's when I started taking photos of bands in 83, 84. And I was born in 84. <clears throat> days before the Mac uh, before I, guys, before I forget, uh, uh, Ben, we got it. We have to sing uh, Happy Birthday tonight because tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is uh, Ronaldo's birthday. No, it's All not. All right. Yeah, it is. No. Somehow. I'm pretty no, sure no, I would believe your brother over here. It, it, it's on Sunday, Al. Oh, really? Oh, you're right. Okay, I'm looking at the... Well, Never it's mind. close enough. It's this weekend. The 29th. Here, right? Whenever yeah, the 29th right. is. That's okay. my birthday Sunday. The 29th. Oh, wow. oh birthday? You're going to be no 70 way. also? No. <laughs> he laughs like it's an old age. <laughs> Hang on. Is this 70? Oh. Really? This is 70, Alan. Wow. Do you hear an old fart? Wow. <laughs> Can't remember. Yeah, and this is the guy, my brother. He can't remember my birthday or how old I am. <laughs> but six hey, didn't. My right. can't do that either. So. All right, scores. But no, I I'm knew that John Baez, eighty-two. <laughs> <laughs> she was too old, <laughs> and the other two artists were too young. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kevin. Uh, yeah, number six blank. didn't come through the first okay, time. Cool. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right, scores. So. The witness just admitted that we won the game and the judge should just end the game immediately. That would be a seven. Whoa. Good nine. job, team. We'll take it. All right. Oh. Us is U.S., thus saith the great pumpkin. Oh. What was your score? So glad our ego isn't wrapped up in this. <laughs> <laughs> Who counted? Okay. Zero? One. What was it? One. One. Business? That was okay. really bad. 
All right. Uh, Washington, 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 Washington. What was your score? I have five. Five. Okay. Okay. Micro Johnson, Speaker of the House. We have three. Three. Oh. We could we could have had five, but we talked ourselves out answers. Oh that no, I hate when that happens. Of the eighteen thousand six hundred Mike Johnsons in the USA, we're stuck with this one. We have three. Three. Okay. Vincent, right. did you get Average number one, Vincent? Point eight. Uh no. Oh. I, I know I've heard of the the song, but yep, it's named, gotcha. It's named after you, Vincent. You should know it. That's the Starry yeah. Starry Night song. Yep. Starry oh. Starry. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are we ready for round two? Bill, you are up. What is your um, category, the, sir? The category is more aquarium info. Oh. All right. And if I can okay, where what happened here? All right. I, uh, I, hang on a moment. Not a problem. Oh, there you are. Okay. All right. Any questions? Otherwise, I will mute all, and Bill, you can unmute yourself. Three, uh, two, one. I don't know how to unmute myself. Oh, no. All right. Oh, Doug, on it, I've lost this stuff again. Uh -oh. Where'd, the chat, where'd my chat thing go? There we are. I'm just, uh, haven't done this one before, so give me a moment. No problem. Okay. Oh, while we wait, uh, Susan says hello. Oh, great. So, currently... Hello from me. As of now, there are 51 defined phyla. So, I picked 10 of them. For you to choose your answers from of the critters in the questions list there are one or more that represent one phylum which means that there are more phyla here uh, than our answers so uh, let me get this first Is a, phy is a phyla like a species? Phylum is the top order. Uh, the order is kingdom, phylum, uh, class, order, family, genus, species. So I'm giving you a critter, which is a species, and you're supposed to select the phylum uh, from the list I gave you to where it belongs. So the first first one uh, is the gumbo chitin. Second one is a purple sea urchin. All of these critters have been on display in one form or another at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. The 
so I have a question. Can several of these be in the same phyla or should yes. they all be different? Yes. Uh, there are some, uh, there are a few instances of more than one critter in the same phylum. Okay. Okay, so number three is the warty sea cucumber. Number four is the light, light bulb sea squirt. Aren't these all names from uh, Game of Thrones or something? <laughs> Not intentionally. Uh, the giant, giant octopus, Pacific giant octopus. From Louisiana. Orange puffball sponge. That one gives you orange fingers. No, if it gets crumbled up, it uh, has spikes that make your skin itch. Wasn't he throwing a tantrum after court today? That orange <laughs> basketball fun? He does yes. that, doesn't he? Yeah, okay. he does. Number seven, copepods. This is uh, actually a plural, but they're all the same uh, group of animals. More than one species in the same genus, but that means they're still in the same uh, phylum. Are these all sea creatures? They are all sea creatures. Mm -hmm. Number eight is a blood star, or blood sea star. And some of them are quite edible, and some of them are not. Don't get them mixed number, up. Number nine is the Garibaldi. And number 10, finally, is the Dungeness Crab. So, uh, as I say, they all belong in one or another of those phylum, phyla that I have listed. Is there any questions? I hear no questions. What were you calling your round again, Bill? Uh, uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium Critters number two. That he has met. <laughs> or I have met, yeah. <laughs> so I actually, okay, I had a question. I asked already if some could be in the same. Yes. Phyla, but um, does Not that all... mean... They won't necessarily have use all the 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 categories that we've been. That is correct. Given, you know, so it's not necessarily that there has to be one match for everything. There is not one match for everything. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So. And us to our rooms. You have power. I have or power. If you need me to, I can mm -hmm. open up the breakout rooms. But yes, you. Ken, you have the power. Okay. I just need to find out. There a homophile on any of these uh, lists there? Okay, let me. I I can get it for you, Bill. Did I send that out to everyone, or did? Yep. Okay. You're good. All right, and 
let's see. You have the power to move back and forth, and I will join room two to replace you. Very good. And I was just trying. Oh, you know, very for... good. Okay, because I was sitting here, I was going to spend the first five minutes doing cut. Exactly, exactly. I would, yeah. Anyway, so it looks like I've got it. They're a little bit small, and I don't have. All oh, right. Wait, uh, I can share my screen if you need. Okay. Um. You know, I think I got it. Let's see. There was 10 of each. There was 10 of the phyllo and then 10 of the, the species. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know. Yeah, I got it. Thanks so much, though. The chordata or whatever the fourth one down is means it has a backbone. Right. Right. Is that yeah. helpful? Oh, that, yeah, that actually is helpful. Okay. Um, and I don't know any of this, so I'll just wait for you guys to tell me what to put where. I don't, the see, mall, I don't think anyone has a backbone, so that, that one I think is out. The mollusca um, have shells, have a shell to them. Um, oh, oh so I thought it meant anything like, you know, like a fish fish amphibians oh really mammals yeah because i thought that i thought that's the split where oh am i wrong I you know when you look at the trees that where it takes off to uh to animals with back bends. oh god you know what i think you're right yes shoot one of those has got to be the category that have shells it seems to me because we've got a crab we've got an urchin you know, mollusca would probably be with shells would be my guess well that's what i was just saying yeah molluscas are things with sh with shells on it i'm sorry you must have misunderstood oh sorry that's what i was saying so i'm thinking that the urchin and the crab are molluscas i would i would agree that's all right okay. so what do we put in the key. okay we so want the mollusca right to the be mollusca. the urchin the sea urchin right. would be 10 and 2. And this open. Dungeness crab. So that's already okay. more more than one more than we got last time. <laughs> right. And who knows, with the way the question was worded, it could be that we only use five of these. But I'm assuming it right. means more likely we use eight or nine out of 10 of them. Um, but who knows? But you had another good point, uh, Leah, about... Um, the other one that meant, oh shoot, what did you say before? No, is the cordata? I got sidetracked about the yes, yes. What what that means it has a backbone. This one it has a backbone. So right. Yeah, so which it, ones I, are these? I, I vaguely backbone. remember that seeing all the you know, doing reading on uh, uh -huh. Darwin and uh, that's the leg of the family tree that spun off to Everything so that wouldn't be at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Well, excuse me. So maybe a, all of these so could be water. Water Bay yeah. Aquarium. Sea or fish. What are what are copepods? I knew what copepods were. Um, Cocopod. Oh, I've certainly heard the word. Is that how you pronounce that? Copepods. I don't. So, which ones of these are the um, have the backbones? The cordata. Yeah, but none of these, unless a, a Garibaldi is a type of fish, I have no idea what a Garibaldi is. Yeah, I don't Garibaldi know. is a type of fish. It's in the kelp tank at the aquarium. Oh, then, okay. Yeah. Call it a cordata then. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Okay. The Garibaldi is um, a fish. All right. That's... It's um, and then the um, the squid and octopus. That's um, that's in the family. That's um, oh, what do they call that family? Uh, any questions for me while I'm here? Oh, um, <laughs> let's see. Oh. <laughs> I guess, I guess not. No, not really. <laughs> um, uh, what's the word I'm thinking about that all the um, the squids and the octopus and the that um, 
Chris, that's um no oh, category they're in. I... But that would be the family, not the phyla anyway. Um Well, let's, and let's then start. the sea stars, both a blood star is a sea star. Um, well, let's look at it. Yeah, I, I know I've like even seen all these creatures in the aquarium. What, I, what I are, haven't heard what they are, but I don't know the phyla. A blood star is. It's a type of, of sea star. Okay. Um, you know, it used to call starfish. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a sea cucumber is a very squishy, wishy. No, I. <laughs> uh, yeah. And and a crichton doesn't that have a a shell to it too? Is that a mus mollusca also? No idea. That's going to be my guess if you no one comes up with anything else. The gumboot crichton is a mola usca also. Gumboot. Hey, I don't even know what the animal would be. It's a. It's it's got a shell thingy. Too. Okay. So we think this also applies to number one. I'm thinking that. Yeah, I know it's a lot, but okay. not the sea cucumber. That doesn't have any... I don't know any of these, so I'm okay. just relying on you guys. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, sea squirt. That's probably the only thing I have no clue on what that would be. Sponge. What do they call... What are sponges categorized as, you know? Uh -huh. Uh, so what would be the phyla for squishy loose things? <laughs> this starts with uh, platy. Let's see. Any relation to the platypus? No. I didn't think so. And which one was sea star? Arthropoda sounds really familiar. I, yeah, what's an arthropod? That'd be something that has um, limbs. That's what I was wondering. Could that be our uh, octopus? Is that an arthropoda? I was thinking more like the starfish. Oh, that could be. That actually would be my guess. And the blood star, oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> the blood star is a, I, I would guess that the blood star is an arthropoda, just so we got something else down there. Anything else before we stop in 40 seconds? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, just start calling stuff we, out. It's better than not having anything. I think we made a pretty decent attempt. That oh, just God. the heck about that Etcha Mata, whatever it is. This one? Yeah. Where? Let's put that down as octopus. For some reason, that just sounds like an octopus to me. I don't know. Yeah, why not? Okay. Then maybe it should be the. Um, do we have something for the squid? Because they're in the same family, right? Was there a squid? No. Put that in there for number nine, Romero. Just it sounded Italian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How did everybody do? Sounds like you guys used the same logic we did. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, I'm sure did it's really all, well. all tens on this one. Yes, exactly. All right. Are we ready for the scores? No. Not yet. Well, we're not ready. Well, yes. 
That's what I meant. I'm sorry. I Are we ready for? Unless we well, all we just, just go we straight to scores and just forget yeah. this yeah. round ever happened. Yeah, these sounded familiar, but I didn't know what the phyla was. Uh, all right. I was wondering what the phyla for squishy stuff is. <laughs> Do we get pictures, Bill? Yeah. We want to at least see these irritating little critters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, hang on a second. I got it here someplace. It'll confuse you, Celia, because sometimes it's, um, it's not all one thing you would think. At least one on here is going to be a surprise, I think. If um, I had it. Oh, I suspect you're right, Karen. Okay. I'm looking up what some of these are, and it's interesting. I think 10 of these will be a surprise. <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Carl says hi from Vegas. Hi, Carl. Yeah. Hi, Carl. And he's going to win tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Are they drunk yet? No, maybe. What time is it in Vegas? Eight? It is. No, they're not drunk yet. No, it, it's 7 46 in Vegas. Unless they did day drinking, they should be in good shape still. Yep. Okay. Are we ready for the answers? Okay, let's just a second here. Oh, yes, I have seen that. Yay, we got one. At the once, once in a great uh, while, uh, the wash up on shore. Well, and in the touch tank at the aquarium. Yeah, yeah, but I've actually. <laughs> Yeah, seen a couple on the beach in my life. Well, I've been in a farm pasture and seen those. <laughs> <laughs> Not those, just look alike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it just means soft. Mollusk just means soft. Mollusk means soft body, yes. Oh, yay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's see. Sea urchins, echinoderm. Echinoderm. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, that I've. That's two. This is two. I wonder, wonder, how do I go backwards on this? Arrow button. Arrow. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. That's um, one. That's number one. Gumbu chitin is a mollusk. Hmm. Number two, that's the purple sea urchin. Echinoderm means spiky skin. So that's what a sea urchin is. It's got a spiky skin. And so the sea cucumber, except that it's soft. Oh, no. Excellent. That's mean. That's not spiky. It's all squishy. Oh, it, yeah. It's both. But the spike, spikes are there. But... Uh, See, there's a spike. I was looking for the category of squishy. Oh, squishy was mollusk. That was the first one. Okay. Now, sea squirts are also known as tunicates. And in their lar larval stage, they have what's called a notochord. In vertebrates, the not notochord turns into a spine. In the sea squirts, the notochord disappears, but they're still members of the phylum chordata, which is uh, animal, animals with spines. Hmm. And here's really? our giant octopus. And octopus are members of the uh, class cephalopod, but they are phylum mollusca because they've got soft bodies. Sponges have got little holes all through them. Porifera. Uh -huh. And here are the uh, copepods. If anybody is familiar with uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, this is Sheldon Plankton. <laughs> but they're uh, animals that have got shells for skin and for joints. And arthropoda means jointed legs or jointed feet. 
Okay, another uh, another echinoderm, the sea star, blood star. Here's the Garibaldi fish. It's the state fish, state marine fish of California. And it has a backbone, so it's chordata. And here's another arthropod joining. Oh, yeah. It's your uh, very delicious Dungeness crab. In its native habitat, the front lawn, it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> native uh, Dungeness crab in the front lawn? The, the picture kind of looked like grass. Oh, oh uh, it is grass. It's seagrass. Oh, it's that, that Garibaldi's very delicious, too. Uh, they... No, but they aren't, actually. They're toxic. Really? Yeah. They look like really good fish. <laughs> Bill, what program are you using, or what? what is that? Uh, this one is PowerPoint. It is. Okay. Do you have the answers to uh also paste in chat bill yes, or do I, we need yes to... i do awesome thank you sir love right. the visuals that was really cool it was like a little trip to the aquarium who what was 10 did we get there arthropoda arthropod oh, 10 yeah, yeah 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 no what was nine that's what i wanted nine uh chordata Nine is the Garibaldi. That's not, that's a chordate, chordata. Okay, all right. So it's not, it's not an Italian. I thought that piece. was chocolate. Nah. I'm just proud I knew it was a fish. <laughs> Gefilte fish. The only fish. <laughs> now, hang on a moment, and I'll uh, put the answers up, and if I can find them. That was a fun category. That would be fun to do with different types of species. Like he did, he did it once. Animals. He did one before uh, Celia. I think you were out that night with land animals, or no? It was more mm. queer. Mm. It would be fun though, wouldn't it? With like a category of mammals, a category of birds. You could do that. That's too. one way of doing it. Yeah. That's not what I did, but. Careful, you may be volunteering for next week. Yeah, <laughs> yep, exactly. We do still need one more uh, person to do trivia next week, so can't forget that, like I did last time. Okay, so there are the answers. All right, right. thank you, sir. Thank you. I had fun putting that together. I was trying to find as many different critters so that I could have, you know, uh, another uh, phylum or two to show. All right. Are we ready for some scores? Sure. Hey, let me share my screen. Okay. Oh, wait. Can you, can you guys pretty. see it? Or did it go away? Gorgeous. No, that there's better? gorgeous up there, but a pretty painting. Okay. Now, can you see the scores? Yes. yes. Okay. So let's start with uh, team two. US or us is US, thus saith the great pumpkin. <laughs> Okay, who counted? We did get a few. That is us, which I show two, or do we get more than two? I thought it was more than that, <laughs> but we got some wrong. I know that. Yeah, quite a few wrong. Yeah, two or three. I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't write it. I, I, I show yeah. two. Okay, two. So I want to say two. All right. We, we tried. We got a. We answered a lot more. Just wrong. Okay. Team four. Micro Johnson, Speaker of the House. We got five. Okay. Jeez. 
And of the 18,600 Mike Johnsons in the USA, we're stuck with this one. We got three. All right, three. Mm. Washington, 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 Washington. We got nine. Wow, nine. nine. What? Ah, totally blows that? away the average. Okay. Are there and scientists in that? We have a we had a ringer here in this. Who, uh, who's who's your ringer? So it wasn't Alex. me. It wasn't me. <laughs> and uh, there was a the marine witness, biologist in the group. No fair. The witness just admitted that we won the game, and the judge should just end the game immediately. We got six. Six. Okay. All right. If I had uh, explained wow, really what the names of the phyla mean, would people have done a better job? Yes. 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 Yeah. Really help. <laughs> okay, so let's do it again. Uh, yeah. All right. Shall we take a picture now, and then we will adjourn for We have to minutes? sing happy birthday, too. We have to. All right. Do you to... want to do that now, or do you want to do that when we come back? <laughs> All right, are we ready to sing Wait, happy birthday? Are we it to Ron and to Celia, and? or did Ron decide he wants to be sung to next week? Well, no, his birthday is on Sunday. It's Ron's so, decision. Yeah, our birthday well, is the same day. So Ron, he said, no, he has no decision. He has no say in this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Ron. Let's have a mute button on this. Sorry to everyone. <laughs> So to to Ron and Celia, yes. happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That was as awful as ever. Yeah, five hours of training. Yeah, we, yes, we didn't exactly. need the other guys for that. We didn't oh need the other guys. Definitely not a choir. Do we have the picture taken yet, Ben? Uh, not yet. Let me get rid of my chat so I can get everybody on the screen at one time and get ready. Three, two, one. Nice one, Lee. All right, it's George time. George time. All right, five minutes. Why? It made, uh, it made a lot of sense. Like we we got very lucky on like mm -hmm. yeah. but then kind of a it's pretty obvious. Oh well, the imposter Susan is looking very scary right now. Yeah. Yeah, who would have known that a C score had a backbone? <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> or that a sponge would be named for I knew, yeah. Or that a sponge would be named categorized for having spines and not for being all squishy. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a sponge. It's a I meant the cucumber. Sea cucumber, right. Oh. The sea cucumber to me is always the issue, the thing with the cucumber, sea cucumber is how squishy it is. Well, it's still can be squishy. I marine it can be squishy, but it has spikes. Well, that's protect itself from, so. from to be probably to protect itself, yeah, or to make it easier to crawl on over the sand. Yeah, okay. well, I just find it squishiness more. Another thing about uh, echinoderms is that they have tube feet, and that's how they move. Uh, if you look at the bottom of a sea star, you'll see all the little tube feet. To move it around. Sea urchins have got long, skinny tube feet. And uh, the sea cucumber has two feet along one side. So that's another way you can tell them apart if you know what an echinoderm is. Wow. Marine life, I tell you.
That's lots of fun. Oh, lots. Yeah. No, it's just it's so complicated. Like anything else, it's fun if you it interests you. No, it is. You no, know, it's it's very cool. But it is just, it's wild. It's, I mean, it's like being in Mars or something, being in the deep sea. It's like that foreign to that, our land existence. Yeah. I'll talk about foreign. The octopus is probably the most foreign critter we've got in this world. Octopus are really bizarre. Yeah, they're bizarre. And then they're extremely intelligent, too, which is just yeah. really wild. And they only live for a year. Is that right? Yeah. Well, so at least a regular slice, a smaller slice. You know that it depends my on octopus friend. Species. Yeah, my octopus friend. Remember that? that film octopus friend that's yeah. on netflix that yeah. that octopus the the diver saw kids friends with only lives a year that particular species that he became friends with the giant octopus will live anything from two to four years ah and see this yeah this one wasn't giant it was like the size of a cat uh, it was a common a common octopus yeah but it was clever when it saw a shark, it lived in that like the kelp sea yeah. of the kelp forest. When it saw a shark, it would wrap itself up in one of the leaves of the kelp or of the sea plant. And look just like it. Yeah, to hide from the shark. That was pretty clever. They are very intelligent animals. Uh, my favorite story about giant octopus is the one in uh, a school laboratory. He lived in a big aquarium on one table that had uh, a lid that latched down. He couldn't reach out between the edge of the lid and the uh, edge of the oh. tank and the lid. And in uh, a tank just like it, and the on a table uh, right next to it, it uh, was uh, five. Uh, Dungeness crabs that were uh, another student's yeah. experiment. Okay, and one night, somebody left the octopus's tank unlocked. No, oh. he crawled yeah. out across the floor up to the next table, unlatched the tank that held the crabs, went in and ate two of them for dinner, sure. and crawled out again back to his own tank and in. And in the morning, he was sitting there, fat and happy, <laughs> and there were two empty crab shells in uh, the other tank. And uh, the interesting thing is that he had latched the latch, locking the crab's aquarium when he left. Oh. <laughs> the end, but he didn't latch his own? He couldn't, he couldn't latch his own because he, you know. It was on the outside? It was on the outside, yeah. Um, oh, another thing I, I like about the octopus and my octopus friend, the octopus liked to scare schools of fishes. <laughs> <laughs> it played with the schools of fishes by kind of um, waving his arm at them unexpectedly. <laughs> if anyone here hasn't seen that, it's on Netflix. Yeah. yeah, it's terrific. Definitely worth. Mm -hmm. Except the thing that bugs me is that the guy goes swimming in fifty degree water without a wetsuit. Well, that's like what they do over here on the Pacific Coast. Okay. Okay. Oh, they use wetsuits over here. No, I mean the people are on the on the beaches in their bathing suits and they go in the water. Well, I'm talking about scuba or free diving. scuba diving. Scuba yeah. Deep diving. He must be used to it. Yep. Time to go, huh? Looks like so many people went to get snacks. What a good idea. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Don't mind Are me. I'm dinner? just eating my uh, drumstick here. Oh, Enjoy I think it. I could have. I put on a couple of pounds every Thursday evening. <laughs> all, the crap, all, all the crap that I eat here during these things. Mm -hmm. so, I got up and gave the dog. 
So speaking of octopus, my husband tells me that on his island in Grenada, they call them sea cats. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> he hadn't heard the word octopus before he got here. Oh. I was uh, I was um, on a Greek island. I don't remember which one it was. And I'm in like this little lagoon. And a few of us are out there swimming and a little a boat suddenly pulls in. There's a, a small boat, a little motorboat with uh, maybe uh, four or five guys in it. They suddenly jump out. They jump out of the boat. The, the water was crystal clear and it was not very deep. They jumped out and the guy reaches down, pulls out. Um, I don't know if it was a squid or an octopus, but he pull, he just reaches down, grabs it, pulls it up sticks his hand in it, turns it inside out to dump out all the innards and throws it in a bucket, off they go. And these guys are just walking around, I guess, you know, farming these um, these uh, octo octopi. If they're in Greek, if they're in Greece, they're octopodes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plural. It makes sense that... Uh... Cat, you look shocked. Have you never eaten any of those guys? Never. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's Greek delicious. Oh my god! Oh, you Greek mean like, I you know. Know, had calamari? That's squid. It's very similar. No, no, it's leather. <laughs> calamari is leather. No, it depends on who uh, makes uh, how you cook <laughs> it. Oh my gosh! I landlocked prairie dweller. <laughs> not eating seafood it's going to be old I, I, I don't eat octopus because they're on the wrong side of the sentience line for me they're too oh, intelligent no, I love octopus yeah after seeing yeah. my octopus friend I wouldn't eat octopus really mm. no, no. Oh, too smart. So, don't, so don't order tacos in Japan <laughs> the only <laughs> seafood that is here is from um What's that one restaurant called? Red Lobster. Yeah. That's the only seafood <laughs> we it. get. Yeah, that's it. Oh, they mm -hmm. haven't had really good. And it's good and it's pretty tame. So that's yeah, what no. we get. No, you have to have some good calamari then. That's um, I made my little brother unhappy when once upon a time in Toronto. Um, he took me out. I don't know for what reason, but he took me out to, to a restaurant. It was there your was birthday dress. I remember when your birthday is. Because <laughs> we we went we went to a restaurant and and they had they had um they had lobster and uh, it, I guess it was market price. So I didn't mean that didn't mean anything to me. I so I ordered two of them and uh, it wasn't until the uh, the bill came and I realized maybe I shouldn't have ordered two uh, lobster, but that's okay. He paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> If he doesn't warn you about it, it it's that's open. right. <laughs> open season. I've had the same thing done to me by my siblings. Now, actually, the I I used to when I was a kid, I was afraid to. I would not eat shrimp because every time I always thought that the legs were starting to wiggle. You know, when I was afraid to to take the shell off. But um, when I was in Quebec and some friends came up, they were traveling with the the Canadian Ballet and they had a stop in Quebec City. And they they had come up they just come from and they had some friends come up from Maine and they brought uh, I don't know it was maybe uh, like a dozen Maine lobster uh, and uh, they they wanted to use my kitchen so they 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 cooked all these live lobsters in and boy I tell you what it was my first time having lobster but I mean it was like starting with you know starting with the uh, the Rolls Royce. You know, and it, was, it, and it was very hard to eat lobster after that because that was so good. Mm. But it is very weird seeing them go into the water, you know. And... <laughs> yeah. We can I love get shellfish. It's so good. Yeah. Crabs All right. are silver. We are back. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. All right. Hear what? So, um, get out of here. First order of business is next week we have Gail, Rob, and Robin doing rounds and Deborah doing the bonus, but we need one more person. Who would like to do a round of trivia for us next week? Anyone? No, I could, do, we could do that it. Spot? It won't be the mammals or birds, though. <laughs> All right. You want to take it, Celia? I think I could do that. Yeah. 
All right. Well, thank you very much. So ten questions with one. Yep, ten questions. Answer. One one answer per question, or if it's going to have a multi part, it has to be like a right. either like a give give this or right. you know like with uh, Kevin the kind of the, yeah. the name of the movie or the name of the song yeah or it has or to be an all or three. nothing you need all three pieces or you get it wrong because you can't have more than one point per question so or you have to deal with Bob uh, with Rob and, yes. uh, and the trivia police <laughs> yeah all right so, uh, announcements. Anybody have any announcements today? Yeah, I got my candy corn today. All right. So, I got my candy corn today. Candy mm. everybody hates. Yep. I love That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Some people um, love it. Someone woke up. I love it. It's oh, nice look puppy. at that cute little puppy. Oh, I can't buy it here. What a sweetheart. Oh, and go on. Can't buy it over there. Hey, Pat, did you have something? Pepper. Pepper. Hey. I don't know if everybody saw what this up? issue of Skeptical Inquirer. Oh. But, uh, Kat, Kat has a great article in there, and I want to uh -oh. congratulate her. We are... Congratulations, <laughs> Kat. Good Thank job. You, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Good plug, Lee. There. What's, what's the harm in having alternatives medicine? Great article. Thank you. And if you don't get the magazine, um, if you listen to the Skeptic Zone podcast for this week, uh, Cole's Notes version of that is with Adrian in Adrian's segment on Skeptic Zone. So. Uh, and yeah, then you have, have to explain this week. You have to explain what Cole's notes are to these guys. Don't they all know what Cole's notes are? No. Oh, you guys no. use Cliff Notes. Sorry, you use Cliff Notes. No. Ah, there you go. We sold it to you, and you guys renamed it Cliff's Notes. So, <laughs> <laughs> fake news. Appropriation. How dare they? It's the Reader's it's Digest. Not into many a college class. Thank you. Whatever you call it, teachers hate them. Yep. Anyone else thought, have any announcements? No, it's all AI or something. Teachers have more to worry about than students using yeah. notes. To write uh, the yeah, Jay, Jamie, what is your what does your shirt say? Uh Feuer Schwanz. Feuer Schwanz. My son lives in Germany and he's right. into heavy metal. Feuer Schwanz is my favorite German Renaissance heavy metal band. Nice. <laughs> Renaissance. <laughs> what's, okay. what's the first? What's the first? Feuer, Feuer Schwanz. You should see the videos. Are very, they're very good. So, How is it so spelled? I, I can't see. Oh, Feuer Schwanz. Oh, okay. Fire Snake. Fire, Fire Snake. Snake. All right. Look at the video. That sounds like an appropriate name for a band, right? Yes. I don't like heavy metal, but my wife and my kids love heavy metal. But this band, it's, yeah, it's, it's Renaissance rock, which is very good. What, do they play with harpsichord, harpsichords and uh, no. uh, they plug in their harpsichord? Yeah, they they're exactly loose. do. It's they're very they use Renaissance um, instruments for heavy cool. metal. It's it's good, and the videos are good. Yeah, you watch. Go on YouTube. Look at the Feuer Schwanz. They're actually very good. Cool. Um, Renaissance Renaissance rock is very big in Germany now. That's the trend. So it's good. Okay. Are we ready for round three? And that is Ramiro. Ramiro. Nope, we're only on round three. I know. I was trying to just... Um, here's, a, here's a question then. Uh, uh, do uh, Ben, do you then come on to the team with me? Is that what you do? Do you go to the... Are you the traveler? Yes, okay. I am. I am Imposter Susan, who yes, travels. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yes. <coughs> All, right. All right. Is everyone ready? Uh, yes, you should have power, Ramiro. Okay. What is your category, please? So the category is uh, pizza toppings. Ooh. <laughs> cool. I like pizza toppings. 
That's yeah. great. Especially when they're on pizza. <laughs> okay. What, and what fire? Oh, we're going to get some passionate to? opinions now. You know how people feel about what should yeah. and be on top uh, of a pizza. I, I would hope that no one has questions, but does anyone have questions? No questions? All right. Muting in three, two, one. Okay, so uh, so I'm gonna give you some pizza toppings, some pizza toppings, and then you're gonna give the country where the pop where the pizza is popular, unless it's specified. There's one exception. So here's instructions. So number one is uh, crocodile, red onion, roasted peppers, cilantro and satay peanut sauce. Number two is peas, carrots, corn, beetroot, and raisins. Number three is uh, mackerel, sardines, tuna, and salmon, garnished with fish roe, herbs, and onion. Number four is shawarma, olives, and red onions. Number five is shrimp and shaved coconut. And number six is uh, ham and pineapple. Right, so I made an exception for this one since ham and pineapple is popular in multiple countries. So for this one, I'm just asking for the country that it originated from. Uh, number seven, peanuts, bananas, chicken, pineapple, and lots of curry powder. Number eight, squid, tomatoes, and squid sauce. Squid ink sauce. Number nine, uh, black olives and canned tuna. And number 10 is, uh, so the, this is something that makes this pizza special and they have different normal toppings uh, plus marijuana. And they call it happy pizza. All right, so uh, any questions? So I don't know if how hard you wanted me to make it. So I have either I can, that can just be the category or I have a list of countries that you can pick from, 20 countries. Would you like the list? Would you like the list? Who wants the list? <laughs> list. Yes. It's probably better. As long as there's enough that it's not too stupidly easy. Okay. All right, so there's 20 countries, uh, and so you're you're gonna pick 10 of those countries. And so there's well, still a I chance to get a zero, so that's okay. You should make that obvious, but the the you know what counts as popular. I guess it'll be obvious when we see the countries, or not obvious, but it's not necessarily where those toppings originated, but where they're really popular and consumed a lot. Yeah, like that that pizza with those toppings is pretty popular in that country. Yeah. I mean, for example, few of these are consumed in the US. <laughs> so you couldn't call them popular here. Okay. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Why well, I thought they'll eat anything in California. Yeah, I thought so too, but <laughs> all right. Shall all right. we open the rooms? Yes. All right. You got it? And I am going to room three. Um, Do you need I to be moved? I need to be moved. I will move you, Lee. Or I mean, Bill. I was looking yeah. at the name, Lee. All right. Where are you, Bill? Bill, you there you are. To yep. I will move you to two. And then I will go to three.
here. I'll see you later. Okay. Hey, uh, ben, are you able to to put uh, put up the 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 both lists on the screen? You mean like self? Like, like so. Uh, well, all right. So there. So we well, so we can see. I can't. The thing is, I want to be able to see. Can you condense a little bit so we can I see? I sure can. We'll just have to. Yeah, so we can see the list of countries as well. We're going to have a little bit, but I can scroll down. Uh, still can't get everything on the list. Well, but... can you pull Australia up a notch? <laughs> I can. Oh, yeah, that was it. Kenya was the last one. So Yeah, all right. Okay. What do you think? Oh, my gosh. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, I was saying... Uh... Do we think lots of curry powder is going to be India? India. I was that's my was my first thought. Except is it on India the list? India is not on the list. All right. So hang on. Who else has a lot of curry? I wonder if this would Kenya. Sure. I don't know. I don't know who else uses curry. Um, all right, well, that, that screws up the one I knew. Uh, oh, thinking this was India. All right, well, there you go. Not, yeah, for now. For now. Ham and pineapple, where do we think it originated? Do we want to say that was USA, or do we think someone else had it first? That's how I, I was saying it sounds like some of the stupid stuff they have at the California Pizza Kitchen. Yep. Let's put that for now. Again, I have no idea. Yeah. If that um, is originally. So now the shawarma, what, what, do we have anything Middle Eastern here? No, here's the whole list. Uh, so who who was shawarma? I wonder if Russia would be the shawarma guys, because they're the, the you know, I don't know, like the southern southern Russia. Uh, I, okay. I mean, I don't know. I don't know either. Except that you also, but then you got where's the one that you had the the row uh, and a um, normal Beet, normal beetroot and ray peas. Who puts peas on a pizza? Well, who puts any of that shit on a pizza? Tell me about it. There's corn. Shrimp and shaved coconut. Ooh, coconut on a pizza. That sounds pretty good. Uh, that that's got to be South Pacific. The shaved coconut. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your guess out of all these? Well, who's who's then? Uh, I uh, maybe something like Thailand. Thailand or Cambodia? What? Okay, I really don't know. So, whatever you think. It's fine by me. Thailand. Uh, I try. I try to think which of those guys might have um, might have coconuts. Cam actually, maybe we'll try Cambodia. Uh, or Cambodia. I'm all, I'm like, where is it? That's because it was currently <laughs> highlighted. Okay. <laughs> All right, mackerel, sardines, tuna, salmon with fish roe, herbs, and onions. Wow. Now, uh, I wonder because you think you think of caviar as being Russian. Uh, um, yeah, and we put Russia here, but do we want yeah. to move it to three? Yeah, maybe. Okay, let's do that. Cool. 
crocodile, do we think it'd be a place that crocodile are populous? Well, it's got to be one that allows the killing of crocodile, that doesn't protect the crocodile. Right. Um, Kenya. Can we put Kenya on seven? We did. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to think which which is the weirdest one that would have that would that would be normal toppings plus marijuana. That almost sounds something that that you'd find in Japan, only because they just do the weirdest stuff. But marijuana, how are they with substances? Who knows? Um. Oh, you know what? You know who that might be? Hang on a second. It's, uh, the Netherlands. With the marijuana. Uh, sure. I'm absolutely positive, I think. Probably not. Um, who do you ask? Shawarma. Who would have... That's uh, you Wait, know, maybe, 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 um, black olives. Maybe what? the shawarma, the shawarma might be could be Kenya, and move Kenya somewhere else. Oh, and maybe and and do you want Kenya as the crocodile one? Do they like peanut sauce? I don't know. I thought you said Kenya for the shawarma. I did, but then I'm thinking that maybe Kenya for the peanuts, uh, uh, for the crocodile. And and uh, who, who was I thinking? And something like... Uh, Well, you know what? If Australia's in this list, it's going to be something really wacky, right? Well, you know, I'm I'm just looking. I'm thinking of France, and and the and the shawarma because I think France has a a very large Middle Eastern population. Oh, okay, that's a good call. I like that. What about peas, carrots, corn, beetroot, and raisins? That's now as far as I think Canada would generally have, I think, the same toppings we have here. Okay. Uh, or pizza, the pizzas the I mean you can get anything, but I think it would it would be the usual the usual suspects. I I doubt that there's anything unusual there, and I could be wrong. Black olives and canned tuna. Iceland, because they have to import everything. They don't have their own tuna. I don't know. It's probably too cold up there for uh, to do tuna fishing. Okay. So how about for squid, tomatoes, and squid ink sauce, Japan? Sure. Because that just seems like they have some really wacky stuff. So yeah. All right, we need something for two, and something for seven, and then I think we're done. And we have no idea how many of these will be correct. <laughs> All right, who's going to use lots of curry powder? It isn't. It isn't Indian.
Yeah, I don't really know. China? Thailand? China? It's a China, China or Thailand? Uh, Let's go with Thailand. Sure. All right. So and then we, we just... Oh, we got peas, carrots, corn, beetroot, and raisins. I guess the question is who will grow a lot of these... Colombia. Sure, why not? Although they they could have been number ten. They could, but you know, the more we move stuff around, the more likely we're just not going to get anything. I guess. So. Yeah. I have a feeling that we're not going to see any tens. Yeah, who knows? This is a for for some that I originally thought would be. Oh, that's not pizza toppings. That'll be fun. And then we, not that this isn't, but like, like I was like, oh, that's going to be like a easy ten. It's going to be something. And then it's like, oh my gosh. Well, I don't know who it was. We were at least some said, oh, that'll be good. Yeah, uh, uh, Ben likes pizza. <laughs> I love pizza. But well, I'm, very much just... a, I'm very much a meat on my pizza guy. I'm not a. Are you, do you, do you like uh, the Chicago deep dish? No, where the sauce is on the top. Yeah. Not, not really. It's funny, and it's funny how everybody who how they fight over which and which is the best in the city, and besides the fact that most of them are the same, yeah. uh, that you know they're, they're we're done. We have no idea how many of them are correct. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call back the rooms. And... Okay. All right. What were you saying? Uh... No, it, it, but that you know, it, it, there's always the argument about which is the best deep dish piece, and I'm I'm okay with uh, I, I with the, the only deep dish I'll eat I'll, uh, is is the with the spinach, you know, uh, just you know cheese and spinach, right? Uh, stuff the stuffed pizza, but it's okay. I mean, I eat it. Uh, I, I'm just as I frankly, I'm just as happy with uh, Domino's pizza. <laughs> Domino's is. Pretty good. They've definitely it improved. Really Back and when I was younger, nothing... Domino's was just the bottom yeah. of the barrel. Well, when I was when I was a kid, I remember. I think that pizza was still a big, still a fairly new big thing. And we had a cottage with a million kids, and they used to have a big thing every summer where they, everybody, every cottage, 14, 15 cottages, they'd all be making this Chef Boyardee uh, uh, pizza. And I think we're going. Um, okay, good. We'll see what happens. All right. See how we do. I just gained five pounds talking about this category. Suddenly, pizza hungry. is much less appealing yeah. to me now. <laughs> I, oh. want, I want that canned tuna and black olive pizza. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. That was the worst. Yeah. Oh. All right. Are we ready for some answers? It's fast. I lost. I don't know. Answer. I don't know if I'm ready, guys. <laughs> I think you, I found the list. You that turn me off on pizza. Miro, and we're like, I don't think anybody's going to do well on this. Yeah. Oh no, I that list was helpful. Out. Process of yeah. no, no, it eliminated no. two that we were going to choose because <laughs> yeah, because Lee, you, I hope you that said it's, it's not another um, lighthouses. It, <laughs> so no, we'll, I found hard. that list. I found the list very helpful. Let's start. Uh, so number one, crocodile, red onion. That's Australia. Oh, oh. crocodile oh. dando. One. We switched it. We, we switched that it. and switched it. Darn it! Always go with your first guess. It's one of those mantras of life that I keep breaking. Uh, number two, peas, carrots, corn, beet, raisins. That's Brazil. Dang. Because wow. beet is. Beet is the most popular thing in Australia. Everyone eats onion hamburgers, you eat beetroot, 
on your burgers all the time. Interesting. Oh, well. That's another That's category, <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> yeah. Number three. That's what makes an Australian burger. Future category. Hmm. So number three, mackerel, sardines, tuna, all of that stuff is Russia. Yay. Oh, okay. At that. Uh, number four, uh, shawarma, olives, red onions. That's the Netherlands. What oh. is shawarma? Shawarma is uh, it's like Turkish meat that's on a skewer that meat is rotating. Stick, that's yeah. it, it's an Israeli. Like a Brazilian barbecue, shawarma. but I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. but shawarma is an that, Israeli Middle Eastern thing. And they eat that, yeah. and they put that on pizza in the Netherlands. Oh, for God's sake. They cook, they cook El Netherlands. Pastor, they cook El Pastor in was... Mexico the same way. Sure, that, but Netherlands was the one that has the happy pizza. Exactly. Uh, number five, uh, the shrimp and coconut. That's uh, Costa Rica. Hey, we got that. And the ham and pineapple. So it originated in Canada. Yay. Oh, you're hey, good job. Uh, number seven, the peanuts, bananas, chicken, curry powder. That's Sweden. Sweden? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. I told you. You're all going to be upset about this. <laughs> they have this in Thailand. Number eight, uh, squid tomatoes, squid ink sauce. That's Japan. Yay! Oh, we got the only one right. I fought for that one. <laughs> And you were right, yes. <laughs> Number nine, uh, black olives and canned tuna. That's Germany. Close. Okay. All right, good lead on that one. Germans are gross. Yeah, and they really number, are. Number 10 uh, is Cambodia. Oh, Cambodia. Cambodia. They do the happy pizza. that was Thailand. So, uh, yeah, I think yeah, you're, you're right that they have a, a pizza like that in Thailand. Is not I, I think it's something new as I was researching, uh, but I will take Thailand because they do have that pizza. Will you take the Netherlands mm -hmm. because they have marijuana? The no. Cambodia. Cambodia doesn't well, have marijuana. You're sleeping outside. No, my my first guess of that was would have been Jamaica, but Jamaica was not on the list. So so later I thought the Netherlands, because of course yeah. they Legalized marijuana before anybody else, practically. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Oh, so man. Thailand is okay for number 10? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't get it. In, in Cambodia, any kind of cannabis is extremely illegal. <laughs> that's why I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised. I like Maybe right now a pizza speakeasy. <laughs> Yeah, I found all like several That's YouTube weird. videos and articles of people oh, you know, ordering pizza. They even have it on the menu. They go happy, very happy, oh, happy, happy, happy. happy. <laughs> weird. Uh, it's uh, that right. is wild if it's so illegal. You know, that's wow. yes, very illegal. In fact, a lot of people because um, pot just became legal in Thailand and it exploded. So now every okay. street corner has a cannabis shop. And people get arrested when they cross the frontier into Cambodia. Mm -hmm. They bring pot with them. And we read about people getting arrested all the time in Cambodia for having pot. So I'm surprised that they allow marijuana on pizza. Weird. It's yeah. Strange. Or somehow it's just not enforced. Probably it's not enforced. enforced. Yeah. All right. Which, Are we ready for the scores? Weird. That's, uh, that's not the scores, though. <laughs> wrong sure tab. My wrong screen again. Wrong tab. Uh, that's all. Oh, thank you. I can fix that. There we there go. go. Now there we have some go. scores. Okay. Oh boy. So we are at. Oh, I really thought we were gonna pick up with this round, but <laughs> us is us. Thus saith the great pumpkin. Apparently, we are not breaking our trend. We have a one. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Because hey. we have any squid sauce and ink and nothing else? That's, oh, yep. Yeah. Yes. I can't believe that we had some great answers. We oh, did too. Yeah. Happened to be wrong. Is no, the other one, one we had was Australia, and then we decided to change it to Thailand. <sighs> of the 18,600 Mike Johnsons in the USA, we're stuck with this one. We got four. 
The high, that could be the high score. That could be the high score. Yeah. You know, we would have had more, but we changed. Yeah, we changed. We changed yeah. some answers. Never change your answer. No, we, we thought too hard. Mike Rowe Johnson, Speaker of the House. The Mike Rowe has got two. Oh. I have, I have, we got three. One, six, and eight. Oh, you're right. We have three. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Correction. Yeah. We needed that. We need that little extra. You need that inch. point. We got that, that extra Canada inch one. matters. We got Canada. All right. And then let's see. The witness just admitted that we won the game, and the judge should just end the game immediately. Two. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then Washington, 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 which was my team. We got a two. No, somebody should have got a five. Yeah. What happened to Mike? Did Mike have to leave? Alan, did you? Yeah, he was sick. Oh, no. Poor he, Mike. Was, he was planning on leaving early anyway, but yeah, he wasn't feeling great. Oh, well, feel better, that, Mike. That category has the lowest scores. And we did phyla of marine, bizarre <laughs> marine creatures, <laughs> for God's sake. All right. Come on. Uh, Who's ever doing number who four? Who would think pizza would be harder stuff. than that? <laughs> Thank you, Romero, for making me look good. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. It was it was fun, but it was that tough. It was a tough yeah, one. It was, it was, it was, it was fun because That's we tough. connected a lot of things with logic, but they were just wrong. <laughs> right, exactly. That's we're it like, oh wait. But it was definitely which fun. Which, which country, you know, had had this uh we went back and forth and, between crocodile dundee for Australia and shrimp on the Bobby, and we went with the shrimp and it was wrong. <laughs> Should have listened to you, Kevin. <laughs> it doesn't matter though. We, we do. We weren't really sure of any of them. And Poland was close to Germany. We yeah, Poland. it was yeah. part of Germany for a while. We should have gotten partial points. <laughs> Look at the kitty. Look at the kitty. I think putting marijuana on pizza is a brilliant idea because, of course, the marijuana makes you so hungry. <laughs> well, one one of the things they did around here was when they legalized marijuana. The Girl Scouts set up a booth and was selling cookies right outside of the dispensary. Well, that, that's oh. been a story, yes. <laughs> yeah, especially when it was just legal for medicinal use, because one of the uses was uh, for uh, me- medical uses for marijuana is to increase your appetite for people uh, with you know cancer and AIDS and the, these conditions that often suppress appetites. And then they get, um, you know, lose too much weight and that kind of thing. So uh, it would make a lot of sense to to have the um, the Girl Scout cookies, not just where people are getting the munchies from getting high, but they're needing to weight, gain weight <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Peggy, are you ready? As I'll ever be. <laughs> All right, you have the powers. What is I your category? Power. Our category today is, in keeping with the season, spooky film directors. So I'm going to give you a list like of three it. films per director, and then you name the director. And, uh, um, okay, hang on. I got to go out of here. So they're all I mean, horror films? They're all horror films. Okay. All right. Any other questions before I bring down the mute hammer? Three, two, one. Yes, yes. I have a request that you not mute me because I have difficulty unmuting on this device. I'll just be super quiet. Okay. Can I, can I unmute people or not? I don't know that you can. Right. But- well, the rest of us could just mute ourselves. Everyone, yes. All right. In honor of Karen, everyone must mute themselves or behave themselves. Behave yourselves, kids. I'm going to put these in five at a time to make it go even faster. All right. All right. So number one, the director of Kronos, Pan's Labyrinth, and The Shape of Water. Number two is director of Get Out, Nope, and Us. Number three, director of Rabid, Scanners, and Dead Ringers. Number four, director of Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, and The Old Dark House. Number five, director of Hellraiser, Lord of Illusions, and Nightbreed. I gotta go get the last five. Two, 
Copy that. Paste that. And so number six, you have the director of Rebecca, Psycho, and the Birds. Number seven, the director of The Living Dead, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Creepshow. Number eight, the director of Bucket of Blood, Fall of the House of Usher, and The Mask of the Red Death. Number nine, the director of Frankenweenie, Beetlejuice, and Mars Attacks. And number 10, the director of Halloween, The Fog, and Christine. All righty, any questions at all? Exciting. Want to go to your breakout rooms and think about scary movies. Yes. All right. Open all rooms. I will do so. Join. Oh, yes. Hello, hello. All right. Hopefully, this shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know a few of these. Um, yeah, I think one, we are going to know a few of them. <laughs> number one is Guillermo del Toro. Yes. Oh, my God. How the heck do you spell his first name? I just put William del Toro because Guillermo means William <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> Well, it's like G. I remember Del Bull. Toro, but I'm like, I can't believe William the Bull. Remember. That's like his name. Jordan right. Peele. Yep, Jordan Peele. I think that's how you spell it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know three. Cardenberg. I think it's a Cardenberg. No, no, no. Who was that? Well, well I'm sorry. I, I'm, I was Cronenberg. having trouble here. And what was you saying? I think it's Cronenberg. Do we? Oh, I forgot to ask if we need first and last name. Yeah. I don't know how it's spelled, but there we go. All right. Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, the Old Dark. I don't know that one. I don't know. All right. Hellraiser. Clive Barker. Yes. I was like, I know this guy, but. All right. Alfred Hitchcock, right? We're in agreement. Yep. Okay. Um, Romero. Is it Romy? George? George Romero. George Romero. Yeah. Good one. Ooh, I don't know eight. No. Mm -mm. Nine is Tim Burton. Burton. That's uh, Carpen Carpenter? Yeah, John Carpenter. Yeah, John Carpenter. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. We're doing really well. So what we need, what we have left is four, four and eight. Four and eight. Maybe we can pull this out of yeah, our. Yeah, that must be butts. directors from, like in the forties, fifties, maybe in the thirties, forties, fifties, sixties. Oh, water went down the wrong pipe. That was no fun. Ah. Okay. I have Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein. Who did um Vincent Price used to work with a lot? Was it on um, number eight? Wasn't he in some of the, the Fall of the House Usher and the Mask of Red Death? I don't know if he ever directed. Darn it. And probably recognize it when we when we hear it too. Yeah. And Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein. I mean, those are all old black and white movies, right? Right. Yeah. I never heard of the old dark house. This is why I'm. Yeah, I mean, director of Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein. Dang it. Tell us, Peggy. <laughs> Uh, we're doing so Can't well. Do we just got to, we just, you know, uh, since we Reach can't, just, just so you know, we know it's Guillermo, but uh, we're like, yeah, we're just spelling it William because we can't spell his actual, <laughs> but we know Already, what it is. We're last just going name for is the, fine. 
Okay, good. That's what. That's the thing I forgot to ask. If last name is fine. Last so. name is fine. Okay. I should tell other people that. Yeah, and probably a good idea. Bucket of blood. Oh, that, that, that I've heard these movies before. It's gonna bug me. Cause I'm. Mask of the Red Death. Yeah. What a cool category. He didn't we do like we needed whole... this after what Romero did to us because <laughs> I never thought someone could make pizza so unappetizing. unappetizing? <laughs> Is that would that be a correct statement? <laughs> That was tough, First, but it, there was some wacky. It was very educational because those toppings, I was like, oh my gosh, the stuff that they I put know. on pizza, that is crazy. Like squid ink and no. um no, thank you. Crocodile. Uh I don't know. Do you think if we stare and at these Gina. enough, we'll come up with an answer? I'm of no help. I'm just yeah, trying to think I'm of old looking. directors for Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein. Do we know how recent Bucket of Blood and Fall of the House of Usher and those were? Oh, I the, think those might be movies from the 60s. With 50s or Price. 60s at least. Okay. Yeah. And I know they redid Fall of the House of Usher as a series on Netflix, but. Oh, cool. Right. I I've read about that. Okay. that. It's very updated. Oh, crud. Who knows, maybe never even heard of the director of four or eight, but I feel like once we hear the names, we'll be like, oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, I'm Bobby. I wonder how long this round's going to go. I would think that most people would either they know it or they don't. I mean, maybe we flew I through these pretty well. Number four is Boris Karloff was in that movie, but I know he wasn't the director. Right. <laughs> Oh, wait. No, yeah. We'll oh. put Ed Wood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's better than a blank. I mean, even though it's not, you know, better than a blank. Bucket of blood. Oh, man. Did Vice ever direct any movies? Or did he what? just star in movies? What was that, Cindy? Did Vincent Price ever direct any movies? Or did I don't he just think star he movies? was a director. No. Was I actor. don't think so. I think he was just an actor. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of famous like horror directors that we would know. Uh, darn it. Oh, the West Craven is the only other one that I can Oh think of yeah, that's a good one. Um but, but those movies aren't be. new enough to be West Craven. Yeah. That's like Nightmare on Elm Street and Well, it's better than a blank, even if we know it's wrong. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Spooky film directors. What a fun... Uh, that's a good idea for a trivia round right before Halloween. Yeah, we watched Nope recently. And oh, yeah? That... I, I don't that was, know. It was the, one of the weirdest ones out of all, all three of his films. I don't know it if was, I want to... It was kind of strange. I don't yeah. know if I want to watch any of Jordan Peele's. That kind of... Get that out kind of, of us. horror it's, movies is just. Have you? Well, his is. It's more so, like his horror, horror on Nope is is more of like an exploitation voyeur perspective. It's it's interesting how he did it and. Yeah, his feels more social commentary horror. And like, not the horror horror. Don't read what Get Out is about. Just watch it. Because when you get yeah, to the I end... Yeah, I think I've already been spoiled. 
Yeah, I, I managed to avoid all the spoilers. And by the time we got to the end, I thought like what I thought was happening wasn't what was happening. What did you think was happening? Um, Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that they were like turning them into like just slaves. I didn't realize that they were replacing basically like super enslaving themselves yeah. on yeah, them and it was just like like this is fucked up this is awful and then us freaked me out like mm-hmm. Ooh, I, yeah. Ramiro, Ramiro decided to stand in the corner of our living room holding a pair of scissors and just looking at me and I was like nope out out <laughs> get out of here <laughs> we're not doing it get out <laughs> go get out <laughs> another movie yep a good feeling up i have a good feeling about this all right are we ready no for some answers we got nowhere to go but up <laughs> uh, ha, ha. another presentation i love it cool now the visuals are nice Yes, very nice. We right. even spelled it right. I even got Guillermo right. All right. Will you accept William the Bull? <laughs> <laughs> Never even heard of these movies. That's how much I'm so n- not into horror films. Oh, oh, oh Clones is not really hard. Clones is not really hard, water. but it's very good. Shape of water, but Pan's Labyrinth will freak you out. Oh, Pan's Labyrinth was amazing. Oh, my my tolerance for horror films is really low. Just avoid them. Well, it's like Shape of Water. Yeah, teenage horror films are low. Maybe you're muted for the thoughtful ones. These are thoughtful. And I get muted. Number two, Norman. I was trying so hard to think of his name. And I if you haven't seen well. Nope, see Nope. It's brilliant. Okay. Uh, Romero, don't worry about spelling. Why can't I go here? Yeah, I'm more you interested in Nope than Romero. the other two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I and can't it, get out. I got it, Pete. You better in this peel, not pele. Escape. I'm stuck. Spelling Sorry. Count. Spelling doesn't count. I gotta There's start some... start the share again. It okay. just stuck. We're not, we're not going anywhere. Now he likes to call the um Jordan Peel Key Pele because of Key and Peel. <laughs> I, I make fun of him. Why won't it? Uh it's not moving. Why aren't you moving? Oh, here we go. Three go. is Jane Cronenberg. Nice. Is a genius movie. I love that film. Which one? Scanners. The okay. one in the middle. Um, David Cronenberg has such a great face. I just had to put his face up. Yeah, he's a great horror film name face. James Whale. James, never Number heard. four is James Whale. Now, this is obscure, but there was a movie made about 20 years ago where I think it was Ian McKellen plays James Whale and Brendan Fraser's in it. And it got a lot so of... The Monsters and Gods movie? Gods and Monsters, yeah. Uh, okay, I didn't oh realize God, that was I the director. That one. I saw that I didn't movie. realize he was the director. Well, see, see, in the movie, it didn't help a lot, but it was about James Whale at well, the end. It was a long line. time ago. That was like 20 years ago. That it was a, a while back. Yeah. Number five is Clive Barker. Yeah. Hellraiser. We it. Yeah, we don't, got him backwards. Don't get high and watch Hellraiser because it's too scary. <laughs> Number six oh, is wow. Alfred Hitchcock. The only one I knew. <laughs> the classic. Number seven is George Romero. Good old George Romero. That Night of the Living Dead. What we a great, great watched yep. that. classic that film. Time. Classic. That's, I just, zombies still creep me out because of that. Number eight is Roger Corman. Oh, that's right. Shit. Oh. Uh, you know, sure Roger wasn't Wes Craven, right. Peggy? Yeah, Wes Craven, Craven did not make this it's, movie. It's not Harvey Corman? Number nine is Tim Burton. That was the other, what I thought was the other gimme. Yep. Yeah, he looks as strange as his characters. Yeah, I know. He's great. <laughs> and number 10 is John Carpenter. Oh, my God. We got a 10. 
Holy moly. Wow. Well done. Ooh, well holy done. moly. Hey. Wow. Is that a wow. 10 binary? <laughs> no. <laughs> a real 10, huh? A real wow. 10. Wow. Who's your, who's your ringer, Vincent? The first 10 of the game. Uh, actually, Kat. Kat was... Yeah. Uh, Way to guys, know, Kat. Yeah. Way Kat. to know you're doing well. A Canadians. Are you going to paste the answers, Peggy, or did you just have the... Oh, I the can do thing? that. Sorry. Okay. If not, it's not the category. The world. Yeah, that was a lot yeah. of fun. That was good. fun. Yeah, I didn't, was know, I didn't know that many of them, but I enjoyed it still. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. They were nice pictures. We did pretty well. I'm okay. trying to find my way back. Sorry. I, I did right. most You're of the movies. Say, because every time I think that we did better. <laughs> I did uh, most of the movies like in the past, so I enjoyed lousy. that one. <laughs> All right. Now I can get on it. While you are doing that, I will share. All right. Can we see the spreadsheet? Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. Well, we, we finally made our big comeback. <laughs> Us is we U.S. The say it's the Great Pumpkin. Wow. Way really? Go, team. Wow. Well, it wasn't me. I just had Hitchcock. You tripled your score. Yeah. We'll be from last into fifth. All right. And I think we already know that of the 18,600 Mike Johnsons in the USA, we're stuck with this one. Got a and yeah. Right. Thank you very kindly. All right. Micro Johnson, Speaker of the House. We got an eight. If my well done, right. team. Thank you, Peggy, for not uh falling <laughs> to the curse. All right. Um, the witness just admitted that we won the game, and the judge should just end the game immediately. Could we just all appreciate the average score right now for the yes. horror movies? Is just yeah. Now we're going to ruin it now because we got a Very seven. good for Halloween. Seven. All right. And last but not least, Washington, 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 Washington. Five. Five. Oh, well done, guys. All right. Wow. What a close game. 19, 20, 21, 22. Wow. Awesome. And 12. <laughs> So many of the categories that such well, low scores, and then that last one it went way up. So what is this, that this really us that bonus round is going to decide? Is anybody's game? Yeah, marine biology yeah. or pizza oh. or? <laughs> okay, so I'll I'll screw up the bonus round for everybody. Jamie, you didn't even give us a hint. <laughs> You'll know. Okay, are we set for the bonus bonus round? Um, almost. Let me. These are countries that he's Peggy's visited pounds. that haven't crapped out yet. <laughs> and we will go oh, to no. Jamie. Yes. All right. Uh, Jamie, what is your category? Okay. Can I put it on chat? the okay. The bonus category is world currency. Ooh. So even though the U.S. dollar is the most recognized and widely traded currency in the world, it's not the most valuable or strongest. So I want you guys to list the top 10 highest value currencies of the world in 2023. So if you don't know the name of the currency, um, then just the, the country name will be sufficient. So like you can say Mexico instead of Mexico, Mexican peso. So the hint is the most valuable currency in the world has an exchange rate of $3.23. And the U.S. dollar takes the number 10 spot. So everyone will get at least one point for number 10. Thanks but for the free point, with, Jamie. <laughs> free point. So, so everyone has to come up with the, the next, the nine, the nine most valuable currencies in the world. And my so rules. And question. So by yeah. valuable, you mean that the their unit, you know, dollar, whatever, is worth the most or just that it's, or some yes. other value? Yes, it's worth the most. The, yeah. the, the exchange. Great. So if they like if they have, for example, a Jamaican dollar is worth twenty dollars in the US, that would be the highest. So it's the exchange rate, the highest value. Wait, or... It's if we're exchanging US dollars to their currency, we're basically giving them money. We have to pay to exchange instead of us getting more back. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Exactly. No, I, I, I thought I had it, but that so are we saying that the 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 their unit, whatever they choose to call it, however they choose to do their money, 
is actually worth the most, which doesn't actually mean exactly. whether their currency or their economy is the strongest. It's just the, the currency, but it goes hand in hand. So, so like a U.S. <laughs> dollar is worth more than a Canadian dollar, but it doesn't mean that our money is stronger or the economy is stronger or anything else like that no. necessarily. It just means the it Canadian dollar is good. Yeah, the it's Canadian dollar is worth less. Money. Yeah, it's the exchange rate, the, the international exchange rate. So the most valuable currency in the world, okay, each unit is worth $3.23. Got it. Okay. We're not, we're not worrying about the order, are we? It's just the top 10. It's the top 10, or now the top nine, since everyone has one. Right. One of, okay. Just, just okay. yeah. And just okay. think of the countries that could have its currencies worth more than the US dollar. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Jamie, you got it, or you need me to open up the rooms for you? Uh, could you do it, please? I sure can. Uh, do, do, do. Open all rooms. Go to your rooms. <laughs> and we're being recorded. Yeah, so we can't even cheat now. No. Sorry. Mm, darn it, eh? Well, Vincent, I hope you're really super smart. I am back. <laughs> no. I am not super smart, so no. Well, I know the British pound is worth more. So that's no. one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me... Did you still want me to share the screen and, and put it on the thing? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Does every... Or, or uh, Ben, are you going to do it? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. If you want to, Vincent, you can or I can. I'm can fine either you, way. Can you this time? Can you do sure it can. this time? Oh, thank you. Do, do, do. So now we have to come up with eight more currencies. <clears throat> pound. All right, so we got British pound, US dollar. Um, so the it, Canadian dollar isn't going to be put on there then? Nope. Nope. No. The I yen, don't know probably about the yen. I don't know. Maybe? Let's throw it up there. What the heck? The yen? Yeah, it's Japanese. What about... Uh, I know that the euro is higher, but the euro is just European. Um, but it's saying a currency I, in the world, so a euro would count. Yeah, euro would count. Yeah, I would... I would think that the euro counts. I would, I would, yeah, because that is definitely more. That is way more than the U.S. dollar. Let's think. What other? Um, think of some wealthy countries that they're like Saudi Arabia, but I have no idea what the currency is. Well, but we don't need to know the currency name. He said we could just put the country name. So, Saudi Arabia. I. Th Pretty sure they share out gold bars or something. <laughs> um, we got five. We need five more. Um, okay, let's well, think. What else? Definitely not going to be Australia, New Zealand, Canada. No. We've got the European Union covered. Always We've think. Got Britain. Nope. Um, what other country? that does not belong to the European Union. What about like does... France or they use the Euro. Oh do they? Does France, France use the Euro? To... Yeah. France okay. belongs to the yeah. European Union. Um what about uh I think North. Um Netherlands? Aren't they in the Euro? I, I think don't know. Oh darn it! Uh, it's gonna be tough. It's like we got we come up with five, and then it's just gonna be like, all right, what are the others? <laughs> well, it's definitely not gonna be, you know, anywhere in Africa. It's not gonna be India. Iceland. 
let's throw it on there. Sure, Everything's why not? Really I like it. There, so. Um, I'm just thinking like north, like all the northern countries. Um, oh, I don't is, know if like in Korea, what, mm, what their like currency Korea. values like. South yeah, Korea. Uh, yeah. I think South Korea, we could put that on there. South Korea. What about like Brazil? Not Brazil. No. No. They're probably bad. I don't oh, yeah, I don't think it's oh. it's stronger than the US dollar. Yeah. yeah. Um what about uh, Cuba. No. Cuba. No, they yeah. are so such a poor country. Yeah, they're poor. Oh. Um, um, Sweden, right? Oh like, yeah, no. they're not the euro, right? No, right? I mean, they're so, and everyone everyone puts their money there. Yeah, they put it in Switzerland. Oh, oh yeah, Switzerland. That's what I was of. Yeah. Yes, do we like that? We like them sure. both. We need, Let's we need put Sweden two. too. Sure. I like it. What are we up to? One, two, three, one four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Well, ten is, yeah. Yeah, but I already put US dollars, so we got our free. We got US point. dollar up there. Um yep. oh. is Germany using the euro or are they still using Deutsche Marks? Uh, yeah, crap. Um Germany, Germany uses the euro. Do they? Okay. Yeah. Um, Aren't countries Germany all hurts. using the euro? Not They're all. Of them. No. no, not all of them do. Uh, Oh, this should not be this hard. Jamie, why do you do this to us? He's a man of the world. Right? And I like what is worth three times more than the Seriously. US dollar? That has to be something in Saudi Arabia, right? Yeah, for sure. Unless they keep their dollar low um to uh do trading and stuff what that's are they trading they, for oil i don't know i i know um, that's why canada keeps their dollar low because with a low dollar they're able to trade better uh United Arab Emirates, Ooh, maybe hey, that works. Sure. I like it. <laughs> okay, we have ten. Good job, team. <laughs> and of this, we, we might get three or four right. <laughs> exactly. I just okay. didn't want to shame the team, you know. <laughs> Yep. Oh, that that's hard. Well, yeah, it's still anybody's that's game, and good job on the last round. Oh, there was a couple that uh, we got eight, but we tried really hard. Yeah. But I'm happy with our eight. It's just we, there was a couple we didn't know. My sister would have killed me if I didn't get Clive Barker. Oh yeah, Clive Barker. That that was a no brainer. Um, we didn't know the Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, and we didn't know the, um, uh, what was the blood? I forget the name of the movie, but it had the, the okay. buckets of blood or whatever it was called. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Buckets of blood. Uh, I didn't know that. that those were two. Uh, yeah, we're done. Just okay, can you, um, can you, um, no, wait, did we do good, Jamie? Should we keep talking? <laughs> nah.
<laughs> oh yeah you want me you were able to move around rooms or uh, i did Sorry. already yeah okay good and everyone else is pretty good yeah i'll, I'll yeah. close the rooms okay thanks not a problem sir i hope we didn't embarrass you jamie <laughs> we will did, say... you, did you do that uh ben what <laughs> Did you, did you, uh, close, um, I shared the screen and then it just went back. Oh, um, sorry. That was probably, I was stopping my share. So oh, I may have okay. done it right at the time that you oh, were sharing. Oh, it's you. You were doing the share. I'm sorry. I thought it was <laughs> so confused. Okay. I thought you tried to start sharing right me. after I stopped. No. <laughs> oh, I'm such a. Because I've been sharing all night, so yeah, you've been uh, you, you were used to it, so it makes sense. Ah, uh, I just I appreciate you sticking around, Vincent. I know you were thinking oh, about yeah, thank you because you normally cut out uh, yeah. earlier. So hopefully, and it's not it's not too late tonight. We're gonna be it's, done super it's not, early. It's not that late. I I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I hope it goes well. Yeah, not until later in the morning. Oh yeah, we're just gonna talk. That's it, and okay. it's gonna be a prescription refill. That's all. Nothing too uh, strenuous. Okay, that's nothing good to too hear. stressful. Good job. Nothing too stressful. Yeah, nothing. No. Oh, unlike me, but... when I go to see all my doctors. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All righty. Okay. Everybody back? Yeah. I believe we are. Yes. So you, and you it's kinda... time for the answers. You have to think of those questions. Yeah. So it, there are links. Think about the you know, wealth of the countries, kind of, and where people store their money. Mm -hmm. okay, that's a good one. That, so, that was um, a good, this was a good, uh, good bonus round, Jamie. Okay, so the first, the most valuable currency in the world is Q8, Q8 DNR. Oh, we got yeah. the wrong one. Yeah. $3.23 per dollar. The next oh. is Bahrain, the Bahraini oh, DNR. Oh, think of that one. Can you yeah. put them in the chat? Yeah. Um, but when, how about, I'll, I'll read them off and then I'll put them in chat. Okay. Sure. So Q8 is number one, Bahrain number two, the Omani, Rial is number three. Oh my oh god. Cents. Number four is the Jordanian DNR. Oh my Jordan. god. Jordan. Wow. It's all Middle Jordan. Eastern. Jordan. And number five, I kind of like five and six, seven. Um, the British pound, the Gibraltar pound, and the Scottish pound. Oh. I didn't realize Scotland they had its own wow. pound. Different that's, well, that's no fair. They all need to get their pounds together. Uh, well, they, they are. It's it's confusing because there's not really a Scottish pound. Yeah, um, it looks different. The, they make different money. Yeah, yep. they're linked. They're linked to the British pound, but they're issued by the banks. Mm. So, but I'll accept um, you know, all three: British pound, Scottish pound, and Jordanian and um, Gibraltar pound as individual. I'll accept those. Wow. I was so gonna say Scottish pound. Uh, number Those seven two points is for you, Ron. Yeah, seven is a Cayman Islands. Oh, which makes sense. Oh, wow. It's so bad. That's where the wealth, all the wealthy stick yeah. their money that became in banks. I knew that one because I'd been there. Yeah, oh. Cayman Islands. And then um, same reason, Swiss franc. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah we got that right. one. Ooh, so uh, hang, hang on hang one second. Sorry, Ben. Yeah, it, 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 I think is Kevin, Kevin locked out? No. Where? I'm here. You, where? I'm, okay. I'm uh, just, my camera's on. Frank's camera's not there. there. This is an old Frank. message. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So number eight was a Swiss franc because everyone puts their money in the Swiss bank accounts. And then um, the euro. It's only uh, worth a dollar five. And then number 10 is the US dollar. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Alan, that was a very old message. <laughs> First round. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We should guess the uh, 10 smallest <laughs> dominations. That would be funny. <laughs> well, it's probably the Lebanese lira. I think there's something like 
three hundred thousand now. Isn't that crazy? The and then the Zimbabwean. I mean, I have a hundred thousand dollar bill from Zimbabwe, which is worth about less than two cents. Wow. wow. All right. Are we ready for some scores? <clears throat> Did you say Scottish pound too? Yeah, yep. Scottish pound is acceptable. Which yep. one is that? Number five? Yeah, five. Yeah, it's, five. I didn't put it in Scottish pound, but yeah. Gibraltar, British, and you could put in, I, I would accept the Scottish pound. Okay. Oh boy. I All hope right. you get a 10. Us <laughs> in U.S., thus saith the great pumpkin. 10. All right. Wow. Jeez, fantastic. All right. Uh, Micro Johnson, Speaker of the House. Oh, we got four. Four, okay. We picked all the wrong Middle Eastern countries. Yeah. Oh. Same. Okay. Uh, of the 18,600 Mike Johnson in the USA, we're stuck with this one. I have us at a four also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Washington, 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 Washington. Let me, let me see. Seven. Okay, seven. Wow. wow. Oh, nice. Currently in the lead. We'll see. The witness just admitted that we won the game, and the judge should just end the game immediately. Charging into second place with a four. Oh. <laughs> wow. All right. Congratulations to Team Reef. Washington, fun, Washington, guys. Washington. Nice job, Ramiro. Look at the spread on that bonus round. Wow. My goodness. Yeah, that's pretty I crazy. I mean, but three fours. We got three fours. Did you guys really get a 10? Or were you just listening to me when I lied and said 10? But look at the final <laughs> score. Look at the total scores, though. That's great. You know what? It's yeah. nice to have a challenging, a challenging uh, uh, bonus round for a change because yeah. it uh, and more often than not, it's that they don't change anything when you come yeah. to it. Yep. Well, yeah, and we also right. have to remember that there's only like three people per team because most everyone else is uh, in Vegas. And yeah. um, that uh, the the category with the lowest scores concerned pizza. Now, who would have expected? <laughs> hey, who would have thought that have, possible, Ramiro? <laughs> could we have a category? Could we have a category next week that's who lost the most money in Las Vegas this week oh, in Oregon? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be like bombing out on chocolate pizza. <laughs> All right. So for next week on which will be November. Wow. We have Celia, Gail, Rob, Robin, and Deborah with the bonus. Leaving the office today. I'm Let me ben, do it over thank there, you Alan. so much. Ben, you were oh. great again. Yep. Do it yes, again. Thank you. Good job. I tried. Good job. This time I remembered to get someone for, and most of it was already filled out since last week so just Wait, reading on the news right now the united you. states is bombing iran really the what? u.s strikes <laughs> fa facilities okay. linked to iran in eastern syria I, I i appreciate a break from Sorry. all of that while we're yeah. here <laughs> Ugh. I break i need a break from the stress yeah, i still haven't found the, the crazy guy in maine yet either they've got his they've got his house surrounded yeah okay good night everybody thank you good night good night everyone good night good night good night good night good night everybody good night thanks for having me yes thanks for staying up you did a good job glad you came next uh sacramento skeptics meeting uh no third saturday third saturday yep I missed you. Missed you last week. I. All right. Good night. Needed good night. to be reminded. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Maybe it's second Saturday. I'm gonna have to look it up again. <laughs> right, second Saturday.